The Opie and Anthony Show. <laughs> And we're back with the Opie and Anthony program. Hey there. Lots to do today. Lots and lots of things to do today. Some of our co-workers very pissed off at us. We'll get to that in a second. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I heard about that. Oh, actually, we can't do that until Eric comes back from what he's doing right now. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> we sent Eric on a mission. Is that where you going? Are we synced right. up on these? All right. We're, all right. So, That's the one there. All right, we'll get into the uh, the whole coworker pissed off at us thing in a, in a little while. All right. <laughs> and also, um, a lot of people want the Bernie Gets update. Ben, uh, how's he, he been? calling in today? Oh, really? Hopefully, in the last hour, I gotta wake him up. Yeah. And he's been uh, emailing you, and yeah, he's getting tons of hits hits on his website. You know, I bet he's very happy about yeah, that. He is. I don't even remember what his website was bernieformayor.com that's right really one word yeah. bernieformayor.com i got so much email from people they're like you got to tell us what his um email address is because remember no. we're like no, no, no. it's just i know it's an email address that you don't expect a subway vigilante to have yeah it's too like cutesy <laughs> it's very cutesy it's like if you give your 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 wife uh an AOL account. Yeah, you know she'd have this type of name. Right, very cutesy, <laughs> but it should be more rugged for a guy that you know, gunned down four people. It's it's very close to uh, like Bernie Sweetums. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, just, something like that. Just, right, just uh, a very cute, mm. you know, email account. What was your suggestion, Ant? You had a fine suggestion. I had a couple of them. Something about 30, 38 and blaster. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the one. <laughs> thirty eight enter blaster. We're just obsessed with Bernie Getz because he's mm. out of his mind. He's now Ben's best friend. He calls Ben and emails him every day now, right? Yeah. And this yeah. guy is legendary in New York. He's you nuts. know what you should do is uh, go over to his apartment because he's invited you over, <laughs> but bring Earl with you. Oh yeah, I bring know. Black Earl over there with you and see how he reacts to a Negro being in his apartment. He wouldn't even know one was in his apartment if he just closed his eyes and listened to them talk. <laughs> Ask Bernie if I could come over to his apartment. I'm 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 so willing to go. Jim, you'll go with me, right? I, I I'll and, go anytime. Oh, I would check that out. Yeah, well, just bring a dat recorder and just kind of hang out in his uh, in his apartment and just tape stuff. Because I remember seeing years ago a clips from his apartment. Remember that? They were no. showing him at home. And all it was was it was like a small little room. I don't know if it's, he's in the same place, but it was a small little apartment room with uh, computer equipment, like old 1985 computer equipment strewn around. You should hire him as a What's, doorman somewhere. If I was Trump, I'd give him an apartment and just hire him as a doorman. Would you try to walk past him? Hell no. Knowing What's, his history? What's he do for cash? What's he do to make money? He has his own electronics business. Yeah. Yeah. He's always been one of those electronics nerds. You think Hilarious. he would have, if those guys were white on the subway, you think he would have... Uh, he said sound? yes, he would have. He really? felt threatened. It was one of those things where they asked him for five bucks, and it was, uh, you know, four young men. He felt threatened and pulled his gun out and well, then, started shooting. And they didn't pull a screwdriver out on him? No. no they said he said no. That was uh, They had screwdrivers on him, but yeah. they didn't. <laughs> uh, and they had one at the bar the night before. Yeah, they were mechanics. <laughs> I was discussing this with my brother yeah, before the show not. today. One shot would have taken care of the situation. Oh, they all ran. He which, knows which, that. Which, they all ran after the first shot. As soon as they saw the gun, they started bolting. Yeah, they started running. He shot most of them in the back. <laughs> he just went ab <laughs> He went absolutely nuts, and I I really believe he just does not like black people at all on any level. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'd be willing to And it all to came together that on that day. So, but he's probably been beaten up by them a lot. Right. A I think guy. that's what happens. As a nerdy white guy living in New York, especially back then when yeah. Dinkins was in office, and uh, uh, young gangs of young black guys ran the city. It was uh, kind of threatening, you know? Was that Whenever Dinkins? Well, how do you put Oh, that? yeah, it was Dinkins. Oh, was it? 85 Dinkins. was Dinkins? 84? Yeah, right. Oh, wait, no, no. It was uh, Koch. Koch. It was, it was, was Koch. Koch in there uh, during yeah, that? I think that Stop was the oh, same it, administration, think, basically. Yeah. 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 Mayor Koch is the one who let him out of the uh, Are you kidding? When did yes. Dinkins get in? Koch was definitely part of that whole thing. I don't. I mean, the case went on for so long, it might have been Dinkins and Koch. Got out in 94, I think. I'm going to guess 94 he was done, because Giuliani did two terms, and, and I'm going to guess he was done in 2002. So I'm, I'm guessing it was ninety ninety four Dinkins. Wow, yeah, I think that was Koch. Was it was like Koch when he, did, when he did the shooting? Seventy six to ninety, was like seventies and uh, early eighties. I didn't think he was like eighty five, but hey, who knows? Eighty four, and, and like I said, shooting. same administration. Yeah, absolutely, very. It was pretty much, uh, yeah. 
Are we going to the hotline? What's going on here? When when a, a cop would no? be shot, uh, you know, by a drug dealer, yeah. they'd they'd go visit the drug dealer and say, "You okay? You all right?" That was that's a, what Dinkins would play tennis during a cop's funeral. He would, yeah, he, that was it. Go to tennis, tennis or go to the uh, matches. You despicable man! The uh. men's room attendant. <laughs> Bob Grant was great. <laughs> These savages roam the streets, and the men's room attendant is playing tennis. He had to stop saying that. As yep. angry as Bob Grant, anyone around the country, Bob Grant is a very conservative old, like, uh, talk show host. Uh, is he miserable? He's the funniest guy on radio. Oh, an angry yes. old man that oh. is hysterical to listen and to. And he's informed, and he's really smart, yeah. and he means it. When he would, they would talk about the, uh, the black youths wilding in Central Park. They let the savages out last night. He talked about Roaming that. the streets. The Haitians falling off and drowning as oh as yeah the Coast Guard over here. Yeah. <laughs> should drown them. You'd drown them. The Coast Guard should drown them. Oh, he just would not stop. I was driving one time oh, wait, up Route One North, and some gay guy called in and was you know him and Bob were arguing because the gay guy was talking about having been gay bashed, and Bob is going, "Well, you must have done something to bother them," you know, basically saying that you had it coming, oh. and the guy the guy just started snapping, going, "Bob, I want to fist you," and it oh. got through. And Bob went, you know, this time next week, I hope you have a full-blown case of the virus. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. He, I will never forget that as long as I live. Route 1, I remember exactly where I was when I heard it, and it's probably the greatest thing I've ever heard on the airwaves. Hey, remember when the black guy from uh, Newark used to call in the black... David, what was his name? Oh, David from Irvington, David that white, was... that black sellout. <laughs> yeah, he was such a Tom, man. You know, oh, he's an Uncle Tom. Oh, to, uh... You know, Bob, these rabble rousers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for your phone call. Yeah. Like, you'd be all nice and, and uh, considerate. Thank you, David. Thank you, David. <laughs> Next time you call me, take the bone out of your nose. <laughs> he said that to a caller. I heard, I heard that one. <laughs> take the bone out of your nose. <laughs> and he would just pound politicians. What would he call that one guy, Lausenberg? <laughs> Frank Lausenberg in uh, Lausenberg. Yeah. From Jersey. And uh, the men's room attendant was Dinkins. Well, he, he helped get Christy Whitman... Uh, Re-elect or elected, because, you know, he yeah. had a lot of pull. And the second she was elected, blew him right off. Wouldn't come in, wouldn't talk yeah. to him, you know. He was so she, controversial. Grant. Uh, yeah, but you know what? She used him to get into office. Of Grant got fired uh, for commenting, making a little comment on um, Ron, Ron, Brown's, Ron Brown's death mm, plane crash. plane crash. And w what was his... Uh... The, 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 uh, Ron Grant... Uh, uh, Ron, Ron Brown. Brown. Ron Brown had a... A plane crash, and they didn't know if he was still dead or alive, and he was, I think, big in the Clinton administration. Yeah. And uh, Grant said, well, they're reporting that he is dead, but then again, I am an optimist. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Boom, gone. Bye-bye. Just as bad as sex in a church. ABC got rid of him. <laughs> yep. Uh, he was... What else did he have another name for somebody else, too? There was the washroom attendant. There was Frank Lausenberg. And, oh, Flim Flam Florio, <laughs> Governor Flim Florio. Flim Flam Florio. And Mario Cuomo, that's Svachim. Oh, Jim McGreedy. Jim McGreedy. <laughs> McGreedy. Yeah, oh, man, imagine oh. what he was calling him when he uh, came out of the closet. That cocksucker, <laughs> Jim McGreedy. The shit dick governor. <laughs> and we met him when he came to NEW that oh, day. Oh, it was one of the greatest days, man. He was looking to possibly do, uh, it, it was, uh, there was nothing in the morning, I don't think, and it was yep. uh, middays were open and you guys in the afternoon, and he was looking to possibly do the, the 10 to 2 yeah. shift, the 10 to 3, whatever it was. He was a big fan of our show. Oh, we was were, he really? Oh, yeah. And we were gushing. We were yeah, gushing. We certainly were. I got Love a picture with him, too, and I, you know, it was just the greatest. Did. I had to. He's a legend. We could get him on the show, I think. Dude, Bob Grant is phenomenal. Yeah, I'd love to have yes. him in. We got to go to the phones really fast. We got Eric on the street somewhere. This is Eric, great, and we have no signal in here to no, watch TV. We have gremlins in this studio. I'm telling you, the t the, the TV works every single day except for the day we need it to There's work. There's one right there we, we can get. No, uh, the channel we need is not coming in. Which yeah, we get TNT just doesn't make on sense. Yeah, we got to get Channel Two or something. Eric, what's up? Hi, uh, we're just hiding out right now. A camera guy's setting up. We're waiting for them to go live on their shot. All right, uh, for the New York area, what uh, what channel? Uh, New York area would be Channel 2. All right, because someone is going to have to be our eyes for us because we uh, we can't get Channel 2 in today. Son of a bitch. How come it's it's showing up in the stu in the office? In what? Where? I, I could see the big screen TV, our lovely plasma television, in, uh, in our office, and I'm looking, and I'm seeing Channel 7. Oh, we, need, we need two. You want to switch to Channel 2, maybe, in the office? Man, Ant wants Channel 2 in the office. comes in fine at Steve's studio as well. Really? Yeah, is that Channel 2 so we can kind of see it? Jittering? All right, that might be good enough, I guess. Oh, that's awful, and I think it's Channel Eric, seven. you think it's a go today? Uh, It's definitely a go. The camera guy is just about finished setting up the camera. All right. 
Uh, we don't know where the reporter is, but I think she might be in this town car behind the CBS2 truck, and Danny and I are just sitting behind another truck waiting for them to go live. You sure they're going live, Channel 2? I thought it was like Channel 7 or something. Channel 7 is already gone, but Channel 2 happened to be here setting up. So. All right, All right. Well, let's see what happens here. All right. Uh, it's going to be a little bit because they don't even have the light on the camera yet. He's still setting it up. Oh, okay, it could be a little while then. What what news do you think that's for? 7 o'clock? Maybe, it's, uh, maybe they're going national. With a national shot of Times Square, because obviously the New Year's thing. What is CBS's morning show? What is that? I don't know. It's uh, it's Julie Chan and uh, and uh, no, they went to spots and Hannah went to Storm, I think, and uh, you know them all. Uh, and somebody else, I don't know. <laughs> Slash him. Nick DiPaolo. I got to quote Nick DiPaolo. He had a great line about how many there's so many Asians. On the news, he said they should call it the slanted eyewitness news. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Paul is despicable. Oh, he really is a creep. <laughs> hey, let's go to yeah, funny. let's go to Lou in Jersey. Lou, oh hold on, I gotta do this. Lou, you. All right, you gotta be our eyes. What's what's Channel Two showing right now? Uh, they just cut some commercial about a minute ago. Oh, okay. All right, well, we're going to attempt a little uh, salt on the media today. We'll see what happens. I think it's rough, though, because we don't we don't know when they're going to go live. Like Eric said, they're kind of setting up the camera still, so. Well, Eric will know when they're live, won't he? Because normally we would say, you're live, you're live, go. Yeah, yeah but we'll, well be you able would. to see when, when she starts going from where we are. All right. All right. Why Eric just the thing. TV's in the studio down? I don't That's know. That's really something. I don't know. I really don't know. Was there a head bobbing up and down that may have smashed into the television? Yeah, maybe, blah, 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 crunk. <laughs> maybe the guy that lost his ass when he walked into the studio and saw what this stu studio is oh. all about. Maybe he broke some things. I don't know. That's yeah. a, another story we'll get into in a few minutes here. But yeah, perhaps assault on the media, Anthony. It's studio. something we like to do to try to get the word out for uh, the, the program. It's our own way of advertising this show, and we use the, uh, the news' airwaves. Yeah, they do live shots around New York all the time. There's always camera crews around this stupid city. Always getting in people's way. And they set up, and uh, now the big shot, I guess, is Times Square, because they're setting up for uh, New Year's Eve. And we like to get some of our people in front of the cameras with wow signs or anything else. An Opie and Anthony shit dick sign we have here. That's like our atomic bomb right now. Shit dick, yeah. Shit dick. Uh, a Where's Chester sign. I saw that one. Yeah. Where's Chester, Opie? <laughs> Lil Connor. Lil Connor signs. Donkey, yeah. Donkey sausage. sausage. And we quickly discovered that Eric is the best at this. He's got no fear. He's we, got we no fear. That. Eric, you got anything special for today? Um, Pretty much, you know, duck down, run like you're going to tackle him, and jump up and smile. There's the sign. That's you know what? You, you know we, we should we should have thought in advance, though, and gotten him a hat and a noisemaker, and you could have went, Happy New Year! Yeah, make believe you're drunk. Make and believe it's midnight. <laughs> Wait, can, can I jump in here? And you're a couple days that. early. What, Eric? If you want us to jump up and down yelling Happy oh. New Year, we can do that. Is that the thing today, Ant? That's kind of looks, it would look really stupid. Not as stupid as making believe you're a bird, but... Yes, Jimmy? What What? What did you just say? I, that was a lot of stuff to put on a sign. What are you talking about? I don't know. He said, was By the way, sign? this might be... Um, All the stuff like Opie Anthony, shit dick, donkey sausage. He thought it was on one sign. On one sign. Yeah, that makes sense. Rich. Rich, they're all separate signs. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Jesus. This might be uh, a national uh, feed because uh, we're, we're heading close to the morning shows now. Uh huh. Unless they do one last thing locally here before they go. To well, the... that'd be fantastic. They're showing the accidents now. They're what? They're showing accidents, all the accidents around the area. Oh, the morning uh, car crash? Yeah, in Jersey now. Is that Eric? How can he tell? No, I think that's Lou. Oh, oh, oh. oh. We could still hear Eric's phone, though. Is that what we're hearing? Yeah. Well, that's static. Well, I could fade him down a little bit. Yeah, I'm sure the people love hearing that. Well, you know, it's live radio, and I don't know. We're, we're a sloppy show. I can't help it. Yeah. Eric, what's going on down there? Um, nothing at the moment. The guys are standing there with the camera. No lights on, no reporter, nothing yet. All right. Um, still lugging cable. Oh, no. oh really? They're, they got the van. The um, oh, I'm saying long that. antenna thing direct from the van is up. I saw a long shot of Times Square. They showed like a, an yeah. above the ground shot from one of the buildings. Are they going? I don't understand why we get cable in here. It's working in Steve's studio. It's not working in this studio. Yeah, it's a Sami shot on there. All right, one of, we're going to put you guys on hold, and we'll check yeah, it in a, in a few minutes here. I, 
By the way, if you're listening nationally, now I think they're gonna. This is gonna be a, a live shot nationally for their morning show because they're done locally here in New York, right? It's now the CBS Morning Show. So, uh, yeah. all right. So anyone can see this if we can. We might be able to pull this off nationally today. That'd but, be a good one. All like, right. Like and, six years ago, I was uh, live on the uh, Sony screen. New Year's Eve, uh, bombing in front of about a half a million people. Did you bomb? No. No, it was all right. We did like three minutes live, and they, uh, I in mean, Times we taped Square? it in the end. They played it uh, uh, at the Times Square. In Caroline's. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's you pretty did. cool, actually. Yeah, it was kind of, I got a poster of it and stuff. It was kind of cool. Thanks. Uh, Anthony uh, and I, one of our greatest accomplishments since doing the radio show, they uh, they actually put a uh, a wow billboard in the middle of Times Square with our names on it. Yes. A I huge that wow one. billboard. Ah, the old days. Right. Well, billboard. What's that? <laughs> Perish the thought. We get a billboard. No. Answer something they promised no. us when we signed the deal with XM Satellite Radio. Too many people would know that we were on XM and actually subscribe to the show if we had a billboard. That would be stupid, dude. It's all about Bob Edwards. Don't right. you just want to be on a bus on the side of a bus? Wouldn't that be great? Well, of yeah, course. we'd like some of that marketing to kick in. They say it's going to happen in 05, so we'll have to wait oh, and see. Uh, Can we get it? Eric, nothing? Yeah. What's up? Anything going on there? Uh, nothing yet, no. All right. All right, you no just sit now. and wait. Channel 10 is 2 sometimes. Okay. Anthony, we were talking about Bernie Getz. Drew Boogie uh, put something together. Uh-huh. He took his montage. He took his appearance on our show, and he came up with this little, little thing. Right? Presenting the wit and the wisdom of New York City subway vigilante, Bernard Getz. Bernard Getz. How you been? Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, um, uh, uh, and, okay, okay, uh, that was rather confused, uh, and, uh, and was, uh, uh, Do you consider yourself more, uh, a Democrat or Republican? Uh, neither. Let me, let me, uh, uh, what I'm gonna say now, this is... Just get a hold of yourself! Uh, uh, uh I'm a little embarrassed. Well, I, I think, uh, uh, I think... Hello! And, 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 and oh, they're da dangerous, too, uh, it, it, it's, but anyway, uh, uh... Oh, Jesus Christ! And, and I, I, I... Have you ever asked somebody on the subway for okay. five dollars? Okay, no. <laughs> Five shots and they're still alive. Uh, uh, at, uh just uh, because there. Let me. Let me uh, uh, what I'm gonna say now. This is. But, 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 uh, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Poker chip this motherfucker. <laughs> All right, Bernie. Bernie, let's say a lovable character like Fat Albert asks you for five dollars. Would you shoot him in the chest? <laughs> ah! And you'd say, Hey, hey, hey! You don't look so bad. I, I can't. <laughs> oh no, 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 I, I could have said. I don't recall. But there could have been things like that. Should, should, if, if you're the, if. if <laughs> Uh, 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 hits you on the, uh, the, the head with a pipe. But no, focus, it's not, Bernie. I, I mean, uh, boy, talk about uh, the the. Uh, 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 I, I, you know, we wanted to conduct some type of interview. I, I, well, uh, I, I, uh, 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 but, but, but uh, uh, I'm not. Uh, 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 it, oh. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Shut up! No, okay, <laughs> well, we, about oh, milk. we can do funny. No, but <laughs> oh, well, I, I don't, I don't really. I don't any, anyway, uh, there's things that I think that are. You sure important. like to talk, Bernie? <laughs> I gotta tell you, I'm not, well, I'll talk about two separate. Things at the same done. time. Okay. Well, okay. I gotta thank you for being here. Thank, thank you, thank well, you. Thank it's been, you. It's, uh, 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 okay. Stay tuned for more Bernard Getz on the Opie and Anthony Show. What a bunch of jerks. The Opie and Anthony Show. XM two hundred two. All right. We're waiting for Eric to call back. I think we're going to plan B today, Ant. Plan B, We'll yes. just call it plan B. Unfortunately, people won't know uh, where to tune in to play along at home. Oh, I'm watching the old couple get swept away. That's lovely. Look at them. Oh, we'll make it. Oops. Bye. Wow. Have a nice trip. Have a nice trip. Bye. That's some crazy video. And there they go. And that's that. Right? Swept away. Well, they're alive or dead. You said dead. Oh, they I gotta saved be the, dead. I saved Stop. the little kid's life in a flood. What? I what? Saved, there was floods in our in our town coming down, and this little kid got swept under a car. Was and you I, live in Columbia? Him, and I and I grabbed him before he uh he got in swept our away. Town? What yeah. town? Plainfield. It was when I lived in Plainfield. Oh. It was a, it was a big flood that came off the hills. A tsunami and uh, caught the little uh, the color kid. How did you, you save him from the, the flood? Kid, how did I save him from the? Yes, huh? I grabbed him. Oh. 
Okay. All right, I didn't really do it. I was the right. guy that did it. I thought maybe you stopped talking. <laughs> <laughs> I drool a lot. Thank you, by the way, for my gift. This is what Voss gives me. This is creep for my, That's for my Christmas, Christmas uh... gift. It's a, actually a good gift. It's a six-pack of Viagra. Isn't that nice? It's, it really is, actually. That's nice. a nice Christmas my, gift. Look at you. My, uh, at Christmas, we had Christmas at my sister's, and my mother's kind of old. She's getting kind of, I guess, like Alzheimer's or senile. So Alzheimer's? Alzheimer's. What? Alzheimer's. 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 Whatever. Alzheimer's. So we go Alzheimer's. to... Some people call it old timers. We're opening presents, so it's time to give her, to her. So I give, open a present for her. You know, I give her mine, and it's a crock pot, which she asked. Yeah. My brother, crock pot. My sister, crock pot. She didn't know. She asked everybody for a crock pot. Oh, boy. Because she's, she's losing it. <laughs> I'm not lying. There was three big crock pots sitting next to her. Think all the <laughs> stuff she could make. I <laughs> know. And she doesn't even cook food. She gets it from the Red Cross, yeah. which, you know, I pay. It's like 100 a quarter a month, and they deliver Meals on Wheels, which I'm trying to get it for 100 and quarter a month. You 100 get two, and quarter a month? 125. And you get two meals a day. Rich, so I'm you're a to, successful guy. Yeah, I know. You're but kind of making some money. Maybe you could toss your mom a little more than 100 and a quarter a month I for give her food? two meals. Well, well, no, I'll pick her up some stuff. The she Red got, Cross is feeding your mother? Well, I'm not going to drive two meals every day. Yeah, they bring it to her house. It's Meals on Wheels. Helen Hayes delivers it. You're, meal on Wheels. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I pay for it, but it's a good deal. Well, well, you're shipping an extra what five dollars, you can have the bookmobile swing by. So what, do I, what, what am I going to do? Meal on wheels. It's a Red Cross thing. And meal on wheels? Yeah, meals on wheels or something, whatever. Look at that little girl. Look how beat up she is. They're showing young white children Of course, that that's the Swedish. But, uh, another, another, another white It's child. all white kids they're showing. that. Uh... Yeah, nine of them were injured out of... 68,000. Yeah. No one really cares uh, if, nope. if the natives from the, that area were Look, it's were all white people. No they're just showing all white people. Well, first of all, the and hairs are braided. That are distraught. All right. Well, Rich Voss is in the studio. Um, very good. How about Already, you, you, huh? you hire, like, a chef? A chef to come to a senile lady's house? What? What's the difference if she has, like, it's a your salad? Of, it's for your mother, for God's sake. She's still getting good food. The Red Cross doesn't give garbage. I mean... Are you, are you sure? No, I have I'd you never eaten tried. any of these no, meals? No, but it's a hundred and a quarter a month. Can you beat that two meals a day, five days a week? That's ten, forty meals for a buck and a quarter. What does she do for the weekend? She has to eat her last meal on Friday <laughs> slow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what about that's the where weekend? the crock pots come out, in? Right? <laughs> She's got three crock pots for the weekend. Oh, that's funny. She doesn't even. Uh, have you know what, Rich? Oh. She's all, how much? I don't get along. I like. I never got along. Mm -hmm. And, like, it's tough because she moves so slow, and I don't have patience to hold her and walk her to the car. I really want to push her. So I make Bonnie oh. hold her now, right? Oh, and that's great her. for the relationship. Well, you know, uh, it's just when I was a kid, she ruined my life. She made me wear saddle shoes to school, black and white. You know what the cheerleaders had to wear? In fourth grade, we had little haircuts with little peach fuzz and I had to wear saddle shoes. Uh, I, I, my mother once bought me a goddamn fur coat I had to wear. A fur a coat? A fur coat, because she said Joe Namath wore a fur coat. <laughs> so, yeah. Meanwhile, Joe Namath is banging every yes. chick in New York, and I'm getting beat up on the playground for the same clothing. Yeah, so, yeah trying to look like <laughs> Joe Namath. Yeah, okay. Joe Namath. I weighed 70 pounds. Yeah, well, my mother came to school when we are all in lunch period. We're all in lunch, all the kids in fourth or fifth grade. Fifth grade. So they see her walk in. It, it, it works out. It's Foster's mother, Rich's mother. And as... She brings me out into the hallway with the principal. As all the kids are leaving the school, she's smacking me in front of all the kids. Oh, that's you not know, good. That's not good with the principal Anya there in front of all the kids at school. But that's a funny story in hindsight. And and you be, you're such a twisted, lonely, ugly inside human being. You became a really great comic, so it all worked out. Yeah, great comic, please. All right, you became Sick. a mediocre comic. I mean, this. Yeah. <laughs> please, if it wasn't for a house of open micers, I'd be a nobody. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> it made you who you are. I mean, what, yeah. what if she was nice to you and you became some business douche. Yeah. You, oh. You'd be with a fat wife. Come on, you'd be oh, awful. Yeah, but it's just fun. Then my grandma, we lived above my grandparents. I'd, I'd be down on the block with all the black kids, and my gran grandmother come walking down when the street lights came on with her goddamn stockings rolled down to her ankles, and she'd yell our names because we had to come in when the street lights Would came on. Would you blame her? You live in Plainfield. She was, it was nice of her to get you in. Oh, and how please. long ago was this? And then we'd have block parties, block parties, where all the black kids, right, and I had to bring down like a brisket or potato pancakes to a black park block party. 
I used to get beat up on a daily basis because of them. So what? It got you were the first white guy on Def Jam as a result. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. right. Hell, huh? You were able to relate. The guy, yeah, how, you, yeah, how, how long ago was this? It's like, it's a, you, yeah. you hold a grudge like Simon Wiesenthal. Well, what am I supposed to do? How do you let it go? They always go, let it go, let it go. Bullshit. You can't let it go. You're scarred inside. So, let it go. Oh, what am I going to do? Go to you know to my grandmother's grave? I forgive you. Well, you know I don't, your grandmother I, too. Well, the whole fucking family. They're <laughs> all fucked up. My father's all right. He's not bad. Uh, got we got to go to Jim in Tennessee because wow. he has something about Voss. Go ahead, Jim. Hey, uh, Rich. Uh, you said just a minute ago that you uh, bombed in front of what three point one million. What? I can't understand that, that country shit you're talking about. Uh, Did you say just a few minutes ago that? No, no. It was about a half a million. Oh, okay. But it wasn't really a bomb. Have, but let's have, go ahead. Have a sense of deja vu. Oh God! I now I know why you guys lost the war. <laughs> you couldn't understand each other. You're bombing again. I'm not bombing. I'm telling stories. What do you think? I'm on stage. I'm telling a couple of stories. How can you bomb right. telling you true like stories? Norton, okay. What's that? What's that? They they can't. What did you say? I didn't hear it. Jim, what did you say? All right, we lost. See, now he's listening to himself on the air. I know. All right, let's uh, quickly check in with Hawk, better known as Eric. Eric, Ooh. what's up? Hey, guys. Where are you now? Uh, we're, we're hiding behind a phone booth at a semi-popular national morning show. Uh-huh. All right. And uh, we're just waiting for them to... Uh, they got a whole crowd set up out here, lights, camera, even a TV monitor, so we can kind of see what's going on on the TV. And uh, we're just waiting for them to go live outside. Aha, uh -huh. and then uh, are you going to comment on the tsunami? I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Well, a lot of people are, are checking in on the phones and, and some feedback saying that you should yell, the tsunami's coming, the tsunami's coming. Tsunami's coming. <laughs> Got that, Danny? Tsunami's coming. Right, we'll Got that, Danny? <laughs> so you think this might Danny. happen? Um, it looks pretty damn good. There's nobody blocking us. We have a clear shot. Oh, boy. When do you think they're going to go? Um, right now we're watching the TV and there's just some guy on there right now. In, yeah. I, I don't know if it's a news piece or if it's in studio. Oh, uh, is this the right channel, Ron? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. we got the right channel. So, all right. Um, hmm. Just keep an eye out. Watch. All right, we're just going to keep you on in the background. Just start yelling when it's going to happen, and we'll uh, we'll go to you, okay? Okay, and uh, if you see it going live, too, let me know. Just if somebody's blocking the monitor. Yeah, no worries. No worries. All right. All right, we're going to attempt a media assault today. Assault on the media. What's that, Jimmy? Some uh, one of the listeners outside brought me the. Uh, oh wow, there's dolls in it. It's the Monster Rain Under the Porch playset. <laughs> it features Lil Jimmy Norton and Jimmy Robinson, and look, the two identical dolls, both with fat faces. One holding a cape, one with a cape on. They're holding hands, and uh, it says Monster Rain Under the Porch. As heard on the Opie and Anthony show, and on the back it has a picture of a woman with a beehive hairdo. Remember, Helen says it's okay. You can't get AIDS twice. Helen. Also sold separately, Helen, Jimmy's older friend, Gene Simmons with karate kicking action. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. Thank you. Very nice. How Who? many kids are you going to get in your car with those dolls? No, no, no. You don't understand. You... <clears throat> Wait. Oh, no, <clears throat> no right Box here. doubles as under the porch display and a great carrying case. Undress little Jimmy to see his fat little belly. <laughs> Revel in the likeness of the real thing. No chins! Exclamation <laughs> point. Use Jimmy Robinson to protect Lil Jimmy from evil trannies that want to corrupt him and then shit on his chest. <laughs> Look at your mouse. <laughs> Very <laughs> good. Excellent job. You're yelling through soundproof glass. <laughs> yeah, they we're can on, hear you oh, on the mic. It, look at this. It opens up. Oh, it's under the porch. Look, it's got lattice work. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice that. It, is, yeah. it actually is like being under a porch. Like lattice <laughs> work. Look at the cars behind it. Yeah. Oh, this is great job. Yeah, yeah, very good. Sad. It's very funny. Very good. I love it. All right, let's... Uh, oh, nice yeah. Christmas gift. Let's go to Gene in Colorado. Hey, Gene, what's up? We're waiting for uh, yeah. this assault on the media, which should take place uh, any minute now, whenever they, they decide to go live. <laughs> the show is kind of in pause mode We're in a right holding now. pattern holding right pattern. now. Gene, what's up? Uh, I just wanted to ask Voss if he still met his mom for not cleaning his ears well enough. Oh, uh, yeah. You know what? Uh, I read online what that is. What, Rich? When I was a kid, I had cysts, a lot of cysts behind my ears, yeah. and they're still in there. I think behind because uh, I remember when I was a kid, I'd sit in class and all of a sudden they'd break, and just pus would drip down my holy chin. Holy Christ! <laughs> and then smell. Yeah, and this is probably like in the sack in the cyst that I never had taken out. 
Yeah, a doctor. I told you, Doctor Steve from Tennessee told me that. Oh, your doctor, oh. doctor. He's a doctor. doctor. He's a real doctor. Hey, my yeah. doctor, Doctor Steve. Hey, Doctor Steve. All right. Yeah. 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 No respect. I want another respect. All right, I, I want another respect. I want another respect. <laughs> yeah, give me another respect. That's yeah, why I don't right? do impressions. On, huh? God, am I a klutz? <laughs> another respect. I was going to say I want another opinion and then do a cis joke. <laughs> hey, I want another respect. Uh, <laughs> non improving chinless nothing. <laughs> uh, maybe we should just put the mic in front of the dolls, let them oh. talk. <laughs> zilch. Take funny. another one of my wives, please. Yeah. <laughs> Take my wife to the, to the place, please, because she's tired. Oh, wait. <laughs> what happened? Uh, two Jews walk into a bar. Apparently they were thirsty. Fat <laughs> <laughs> uh, kid uh, nothing. Uh, too good. Let's go to John in Orlando. John, what's up? How you doing, guys? You're doing, Hi, John. You're doing one of those wow sticker stops for us today? Yeah, I'm in front of the uh, Home Depot off of uh, Colonial. In Orlando. That's correct. All right. Any people stopping by? Uh, not yet. Just a bunch of contractors. They seem like they're still shaking the dust out of their eyes. That's who stops by a Home Depot. Well, uh, good luck. Thank you. Look out for the tsunamis. Yeah, I will. <laughs> wow, a Dude, fun, you don't fun sticker stop. I know you don't sound there. too. Uh, I'll be as much awake. charisma as he's no, giving them out. I was just waiting on the phone. I'm going to jump out of the car and stand by where the contractors go in and hand them out. All right, cool. Well, was we there appreciate an it. Or something. The there? listeners have taken it upon themselves to market the program for I us. I like that. And uh, this guy's doing a wow sticker stop at a Home Depot in Orlando. Thank you, John. You're welcome. All right, bye. Bye. Thanks, John. Oh my God, we're in a, 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 such a holding pattern, but it I could know. be a good one today. I know this could be national. So I, I would bet they would come. They would do the shot coming back from spots here. Coming back from commercials. Think. You, you think? Be no. ready, Hawk. <clears throat> Are you sure that this is the right channel? I thought. Yeah, yeah it's, sure it's the right channel. Yeah, it's definitely. Stop far. I was number four. Is Hawk on the line? Uh, yeah. You want? All right, hold on a second. Let's. Uh... Stink. Doesn't stink. Yes, it does. <clears throat> no, it doesn't. It's trapped in your hat, Eric. Yeah, where we're positioned, it looks like they're going to have a live music act performing. Oh, really? Really? Yeah, I think we're going to be right behind wherever they're performing. Are you sure we have the right... Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't see him promoing any music I act. suggest you get a little uh, a little aggressive today there, Eric. All right. A little aggressive. Will do. They got an in-studio audience as well holding up signs, so it might be a little tricky to see it, but if we get right behind them, you should be able to see it clear as day. Hey, Eric, can you see what's on their TV right now? Uh, yeah, hold on, let me... No, go. it's the same channel. Oh, yeah, yeah. Benson, uh, no, it's right definitely... now, the monitor is black, so I guess they're in commercial. Okay. Yeah. Light, light yourself on fire, then they'll look at the sign. <laughs> that would be nice. A good suicide for the Opie and Anthony oh, show? Oh, nice. Yeah. Flaming. Uh, who? Do you know who the musical guest is? Do you know who the musical guest is? No, I don't. No? Okay, thanks. I don't know who's performing, but... All right, I well, didn't see them, I do didn't they have a camera out on the sidewalk, too? Um, what they have is the way the stage is set up, there's a huge Christmas wreath, and right behind it is a window to the corner of, of uh, well, in Times Square there, where there's an audience outside with lights as well. So you should be able to see the audience right behind the, the whoever the artist is. Uh-huh. All right, I'm seeing a promo for something now, actually a coming up thing. Uh-huh. Eagerly awaiting Hawk's second appearance on live television. Coming up. No musical no musical guests though. More oh, coming this is up. Getting better. What? They're setting up a live camera, an external camera outside to walk around with. Alright. Uh huh. They might be going to it uh oh no, I think we're going local now. It's yeah, a local. We're going shot. local now. So they're they're not coming back till seven thirty. We got a few minutes. Alright. We definitely uh, have a few minutes. They're, they're talking to the audience right now, if you can hear it. This is Chris Cuomo again at ABC. Thank you so much for all of you doing this. They're thanking everybody for coming out of here. Of course, they're talking up the people. Is that it? Now, when we go live... appreciate you doing this again. And I promise to take as little time to be as possible so you can get back and change the family. All right, they're, they're, they're live in Danny. Times Square right now. Eric, yeah, look at that. That's oh, no, it's recorded. Forget it. <laughs> Jesus, yes. It's last New Year's Eve. Yeah, that's yeah. Last New Year's there happens Eve. to be a million people in Times Square, according to Jim, two know. days before <laughs> New Year's. That's a good band. Miracle. How do I know? They just want to get there early and get the good spots. Yeah. <laughs> it was nighttime. They were all revelers with party hats <laughs> on. Completely and drunk. And there was a big Happy New Year on yes. the Jumbotron. Yeah. And Norton's You're like, right. they're live in Times Square. They're live right now. <laughs> Why is there a 1978 lit up? Quick, run out there. I am an ass. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> All right, Eric. I almost ruined yeah. it. All right, so what did they say to you? 
Um, I, they're thanking everybody for coming out. Um, they're saying we're not going to take much of your time so you can go home to your families and everyone had a good chuckle. And uh, they're just doing panning crowd shots right now, which I think they're just testing the cameras. According to the monitors, there's some black people on there, and there doesn't seem to be any black people in this audience. So we're all set and ready by the windows, waiting for them to, uh, to turn the cameras on. All right. Why are there no black people there, Eric? Uh, no idea. Because these people are on their way to work. Oh. <laughs> it's all white people throughout okay. this audience. All right. Well, they're not going to go to. That was rich for us. That was funny. We got a few minutes before they go back to, uh, to the show. So, okay. All right. We'll thank you. Out. Good luck, Hawk. Good luck, Hawk. All right. Should we take another break? Get that out of the way. Yeah, I think we should. Well, hopefully they won't go live when we. Uh, uh, when we can do a. a we can do a quick break. They, they won't go back. They won't go back until seven thirty. That guy is such a femme. Oh really? That local uh, New York. Liar. News guy. <laughs> I don't want to say the station, although I think they He's heard a it. Liar. <laughs> All right, why don't we take a really fast uh, break here? All right, we'll continue. I've got stupid in stereo. All them old school guys just got no cred left, man. None. What, what are you talking about? I had a new movie with uh, Ice Cube. Are we Is there yet? It? Are we there yet? It's like a wacky kid movie, road movie. Like, it's like what happened? Boys in the Hood. That, that was great. The first Fridays was funny. Like, I thought Cube was the last one with a little bit of street cred left yep. from yep. the old uh, regime. When, they played it, when he played at Woodstock 99... They made him play on a small stage around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. There was about 200 people out there. The Cube? And, yeah, the Ice Cube. Yeah. They he wasn't going to come out. He waited like a half an hour. He wasn't going to come out, but he was under contract. And how many and people it, did you perform in front of? Uh, at times, about 75,000. Not as go. many. Oh. There you go. At times. Boss, more popular than Cube. Than no, cube. I didn't say that. He was scheduled. <laughs> That's what out. you were trying to say. No, I know trying you. to say. <laughs> In a roundabout way, you, you were going to get to the point that you were in in front of a lot more people. Yes, all them, you were. All yes, them, uh, you were. We know other, you. Guess what? We uh, know you. A couple of weeks ago, we went to South Beach, and I went to that bar. Remember where we sat? Where I sat and made out with the 60 or... Yeah, of course. Uh, 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 the news... Oh. Uh, what is it called on South Beach? News Cafe. On news no, Cafe. It's yeah. a long bar with a long... I don't, yeah, news Cafe. I don't know. Whatever it is. Uh, and I and I brought uh, my gal into the, uh, into the little booth, and we got kicked out because you got to order... We were oh, in the you wrong mean one. you went to the uh, hotel with the cabanas? Yeah, the hotel with the cabanas. Where you disappeared with the old bra to go make out with <laughs> I was doing that to be a... <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh... You know, I bet you back in her day, she was a hottie, though. Well, oh. she was an old hippie. Did she walk out with her stockings around her ankles? <laughs> yes. Yeah. She was <laughs> the street lights were on. I bought her a crock. She didn't look thing. bad for. She didn't look bad for fifty eight years old. She wasn't fifty eight. She was yeah, like no, fifty six. She, she told. Oh wow! Oh, no, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, Rich, much better. That's hot. And she was. She was, huh. like, she was a fifty eight year old uh, old hippie uh, albino, an albino uh, hippie yeah, broad. Yeah, and oh. she named her daughter Maranatha. <laughs> was she a good Maranatha? Kisser? Maranatha. <laughs> Maranatha. Was she a good kisser? It, yeah, except she had bad breath, so she it made her feel like she was sixty two. <laughs> what did it smell like? Her breath. Uh, Huh? What did it smell like? Your belly button. It was bad. Really? Yeah. I don't know. It's just old stale, like, you know, that's sure been a lot just of. nibbling behind your ear before uh, <laughs> your <laughs> kiss. She got awful breath. So, I... <laughs> so it was uh, a, a Schrieger place, I guess, oh, right? No, it's a Delano, probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. Delano. On the corner. I didn't know all those that's places. A good place. With the, with the, jo with the giant Delano. chess set on the lawn. Yeah, right? and, and then we went. Ben to... turkeyed and jerkied his <laughs> way uh, all over the country. He spilled drinks in every major establishment. I know. And we went to one booth. And they threw us out. They go, well, you got to order a bottle of uh, liquor. So I go to Bonnie. You, I go, how much is a bottle of vodka? And they go, two hundred and fifty. I go, I guess we're out. Right? Yeah, yeah that's, that's two. That's, that's two months of good eating for my mom. That's, <laughs> 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 uh, he, he's got some. Yeah. You're, a, you're a cheap ass, bro. I yeah, I'm gonna buy a two hundred fifty dollar vodka, yeah, please. You, do you love this broad? Yeah, I love it. And, and you're in South Beach. You're at a nice place. You know, sometimes you got to splurge. I just bought myself Armani sunglasses. I'm going to go buy her some vodka. <laughs> Armani spelled A-R-A-M-A-N-Y. Yeah. No. No. Yeah, First exactly. of all, Armani. Second of all, for Christmas, <laughs> I hooked her up for Christmas. What'd you get her? 
I bought a, a diamond necklace. Oh, uh, nice. I should have. I should have. That was the best. I should have said that last. Did you go to some a of your coach? people in the city to find? No, nah, I didn't have time. <laughs> I went to uh, your the tribe. I know to... you, you murderer! <laughs> you murderer! Uh, that, what movie Stabber. is that from? Marathon uh, Man. Yeah. Stabber in the street. Sell! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, I, I went. I went the to the White this... Angel. <laughs> <laughs> this man needs a doctor. <laughs> cuts his throat. Cuts his throat and walks away. Oh, it's Love hilarious. It. Now I bought her a diamond necklace at the mall, and I uh, coached pocketbook and some Chanel uh, perfume. At the mall. Very nice. Yeah, it was last minute. I know. I'm an idiot. What store at the mall? I don't want to plug them. K. K. Jewelers. K. Jewelers. Hey, the first That's kiss. That's where you go if you have like. A, in junior high, you got a crush on a girl and you buy her that diamond <laughs> chip on a. No, what, 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 the, K, the K kiss starts with K, so first kiss kill yourself. <laughs> Every kiss begins <laughs> with K. That's, 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 <laughs> oh. Wow. Yeah, so this is all right there. I mean, some of the jewelry they have is not, you know. No, it's a nice diamond necklace. Oh, we should plus, talk about them. They're advertising on our no, show. First of all. Before we start bashing people on this oh, show. Oh, yeah, where's that every, ladder? Every 300 you spend, you get a $100 coupon back. Oh, oh good. More food for mom. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of necklace? Like what carrot? It was, uh, it, it's like a little gold necklace with three diamonds that go down. Oh, How okay. Much? How much? How, half a carrot, I think it was. Money. How much money? Yeah, come on. 600 be Six hundred, right. yeah. That's plus good. two, uh, two fifty for a pocketbook, hundred for cologne, uh, perfume. That's that's not bad for a for, for a broad. Great. Yeah, it's cool for a right? broad. For a broad, that's nice. I mean, for my girlfriend. You're and deeply in love with this broad. What did uh, this broad be, get you? Trying to be cool huh? on the show. What did she get you? A coffee maker. No, <laughs> she got me a, a crock pot. She, she got me a crock. <laughs> she bought me. She got me a money clip from. Uh, let me tell you what a, a a an oath my managed Evan. I oh, said really? Evan, you don't need to tell listen me that. To this. No, my, my management is just so stupid. Bonnie, I, I go, what do you want? She goes, what do you want for Christmas? I go, money clip. And she goes, I'll, I'll get you one at Tiffany's. But she couldn't get to Tiffany's. So I didn't want her to feel bad. Yeah. So I call Evan, my manager. I said, Evan, go pick up a money clip. Surprise her that you got it for me and she'll pay you without anybody. No, you know what I mean? Like it looks. He calls. I hear him on the phone Christmas Eve. He goes, I went over there. They were closed at seven o'clock on Christmas Eve. He went to Tiffany's on Christmas Eve to get it at seven o'clock. They're closed. He's at an 7 idiot. Seven o'clock on Christmas. Eve. Why? How? You don't know? He's an idiot. You, you, I've been to Brazil. And his managers are good friends of mine. Jason yeah. and Evan, they're brothers, and Evan no. is retarded. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, we did a we did a Comedy Central meeting, and they walked in. I go to cash from uh, mice and men were there. When he walks in, it's just uh, the whole room. Eh. But, <laughs> <laughs> he just gets drunk on vodka, but he's these weird Brazilian drinks. He's packing like a yard. Yeah, he does have a big dick. I've seen it in the, in the <laughs> locker room. It's unbelievable how big it is. In Brazil, you can't help it. You're getting naked. Yeah. You go have sex with That's prostitutes. That's sounds like. And there's that big Steinberg dick. Did you rub it and say, Camo? <laughs> no, I, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish you knew, Evan. You're going to see this uh, idiot trying to speak Portuguese. <laughs> he's Patrice's manager, too. They, they all know. Oh. They're, they're good managers. But they just they can't find something. I'll so we right speak back. silverback? <laughs> so what <laughs> Oh man. Opie! Uh, Where you going, oh, Opie? Opie's just uh, Opie's leaving left the, the studio. studio for a while. That's all right. Opie's, as we're yapping away, Opie's trying to uh, keep contact with I don't know, for, Eric Hawk. For the last two breaks, I think I've been carrying this. I'm doing pretty well. Is that it? Well. I, don't think, uh, I think uh, Rich Voss is back. You're carrying the program? I'm not really carrying <laughs> it. I'm just setting up Norton for good lines. I don't think you ever left the program. You've been here all along. We have uh, these three lovely fans outside. Oh, no, look at this. Boy, brought, this is uh, like the evolution of unemployment poster. They've brought <laughs> gifts. For some reason, uh, it has become acceptable now for Ben to let people in to watch us through the glass. And i got to say, it's a little disturbing. <laughs> that was, oh, oh, what was that? I think I just saw somebody on the live shot. Did we miss it? No, it was too fast. It was a clip. Are you kidding? It was a promo. It couldn't yeah. have been. Are you sure? I Positive. saw something orange that might have been a wow sign. Damn it. Yeah, we got the the, um, the poster boards, one with the XM and the WOW logo, the other one with your guys' faces. Damn, I missed it. Son of a bitch. Did you got them on? Did it happen? I think it the did. Weather lady, they're doing the weather right now. The weather lady's right in front of us, but they, they're tightening on the shot. Yeah, they don't want you... Uh... We see the weather map on the monitor right now. Yeah, well, so do you we. know what? Just You got to shove the sign right there in front of us. There it is. There you go. Hold it up. They got it. Huh? Yeah, bring it down. They, they zoomed right into her. So they couldn't get the crowd shot now. Oh, you Aww. spoiled that for them. Good. You ruined it. 
Well, that we was, can hang out. They're going to be coming back. It was Holy. barely an assault on the media. That was like a an annoyance. Yeah. That was a pst. <laughs> there, oh, there it is. is. Get, get in there. Get in there. Hit her in the head. head. <laughs> <laughs> Club this cocktail. Look at the way in the back. Where is he? Where is, there is he? The oh, oh, there's. the windows. They tightened in so much. You can't even see her now. See us now. Oh, now there's three things on the. Oh, all right. Oh, my God. Everyone in the audience is laughing. And, hey, guys. <laughs> Eric, a bunch of guys waving and laughing. Can't you go right up behind her? Push, Push people out of the way. Oh, she, she's in the studio. We're right outside. The oh, glass. there's glass in between. Throw feces at her. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hold on, we're looking. Oh, yeah, barrel your way through. Barrel your way through. Come like, on, say guy with AIDS coming through. Tsunami coming. Tsunami. Guy with warning. AIDS. <laughs> Yeah, we can't. They tightened in so much work. She's inside behind the glass. We're outside behind Squeeze the up. glass. Squeeze up. They tightened in so much. Yeah, but tight. I see people behind her. You can see right people behind her. There's an in studio audience. Yeah, no, they, well. they bring their yeah. audience inside so they can, oh, they can control it better. What a ripoff. Oh. Hey, Eric, where's that so folder? Oh, that's the Wachovia sign you guys put up. Eric. Oh, we just missed the other live shot. They had the Wachovia sign. Did you get it? I guess I don't know. No. No, he didn't get it. He Eric. Get squat. No. Eric, where's that folder? Which folder? You know, from the uh, the future advertiser. Um, It should be on the office, right on top of the, uh, the two filing cabinets near the chair. All right, cool. Those two That's filing cabinets that are sitting in our office for no apparent reason? Uh, exactly. All right, Eric. Um, all right, we'll put you back on hold. Okay. Was he going to say something? No, I don't think right. so. Were you going to say something? Me? No, no. Just staying here Damn. waiting. Damn. All right. All right well, I was hoping to see a little more. The, the, what about the other morning show? I don't know. They do, like, they're huge on the, live shots. They're on they? a massive delay now because of what we did to them. Because <laughs> the, the wowing? <laughs> because of the girl showing her boobs. Yep. So, all right. I well, saw the sign very clearly, but it was only for a second. We could barely see the ONA sign. Yeah. All right. Well, it's not going to be a huge success every time out. No assault on the media. We just wasted an hour of show for that. Nah, it was just silly. Hey, Voss, you're a Fuck disgrace you. to our people. Fuck you, you capo Jew. Capo Jew? I don't know what that means. What is that? Do they think he's like one of the Jews that would like... Help check the IDs at the like at, at, like the police uh, oh, the, and they would rough up the uh, yeah like the uh, trustees. Oh, because I didn't buy it from the Diamond District. They would smack the. You uh, didn't buy it where? Because I didn't buy the Diamond at the Diamond District, so that's why they're buy it off. from your like, people. Yeah, they're real trustworthy over there. I'll give you a good price. You just want to get out of there because they stink so bad. <laughs> Take a bath, you sticky Hasidics. <laughs> All right. Do they All right. smell? Oh, they, they smell? That's why they got to bang broads with sheets between them. <laughs> do they really do that? I don't know. If they yeah, they it. do. We learned that on Curb Your Enthusiasm. Yeah. They, they, uh, I'll a, buy it. You know what? They a hole if, if they have a, in, in, a sheet? in the sheet, and then they have sex. Yeah. Yeah. And what is the purpose of that? Because they stink. Because they're not supposed to uh, have human contact when they're having sex. Except really? for their yeah. So it's like a except glory hole with a sheet? I guess so, yeah. yeah. I heard it's not true, but if it is, it's perfect, and it's the way it should be. <laughs> I, do, I do it so I don't drool on my broad. Uh, here's the thing. Clan if sex. If the Hasidics want me to, I will buy a, a, an engagement ring if they come up with a good Ooh. deal. Are you looking to get engaged? Well, at, at Is this an point, announcement? Oh, no, not at all, but if I can get a good deal... I'm a Jew. If I could get a deal on a cross, I'd buy it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mom, I got you three crosses to go with a crock pot. No, I'd buy a ring if I get a deal. But how do you trust those guys down at the Diamond District? Are you really thinking I about getting married? Why not? Is why? Bonnie the one? Is she, is she the one? Oh, no. She just stayed at my house. Why I'm, <laughs> why I'm going to marry some other broad down the block. <laughs> hey, Bonnie the one. Yeah. When she starts headlining, I'm going to marry her. Wait, oh, but no. is she, is she, is she, uh, she might not be around... To go to the Oscar parties, maybe you need to take your old friend. You know, he, we were in the cellar the night. We're bragging, you know, we're just going back and forth how much money we're each making. And he's doing pretty good. He's going, yeah, well, I just sold out this, this. Then he said to me, he goes, you know, in January when I'm in uh, Las Vegas, uh, you know, maybe I'll give you a call. I said, well, I'll be at the Oscars. Oh, uh, that pretty much trumps everything. <laughs> I, I go, Smash Vegas I go, in a stupid I face. When you're yeah. meeting Ron Jeremy, I'm meeting Ron Howard. <laughs> Stink. I really was hurt. And why do you, oh. of all the times I've had to hang out with this failure, awful person, now he has a girlfriend when he goes to the Oscar party where that would have yeah, been. Yeah, it would have been you. That would have been you, Jimmy right? Norton going, You're the jilted broad. I, we, we, we were kind of like life partners. Yeah. We, we weren't sexual with each other, but nobody knew that. And in show business, they were too polite to ask. So we would right. just take pictures of each other with celebrities. 
first of all, if I could take you to the Oscar party, if I could take anybody, you would definitely be my first pick because I would love to take pictures with you with celebrities. Yes. Okay. So let's do that. Huh? Oh, we can't. You're taking uh, Bonnie, right? I, I, well, I mean, I don't even know if I'm allowed to bring a guest. you you got to be able to bring a guest. I'm just, yeah. 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 Have some self-esteem. You're writing for Chris Rock. Say, Chris, I need two tickets. Say, mm. Tell him you need three. You need one for Jimmy. Get Jimmy's self- like your, you know, he helps you write. <laughs> tell him I'm your, I'm your friend and Bonnie's your beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's your personal assistant. There yeah. you go. No, I know, I and then when, when I roasted Donald, uh, I asked Norton for a little help. Boy, could you get him on the phone then? But you know what? How many I, I, pictures did I get with you? Dude, did, you were phenomenal. Did you give me my copies yet? Oh, I have them on a disc. Yeah, oh, yeah, in your house. I'm sorry, I haven't seen you. You've been so busy and successful. <laughs> yeah, please. All right, why don't he, we, did, he did get me pictures. Why don't we move on, Anthony? we got to get Martini Steve in here. He, he found some audio that's kind of interesting. Martini Steve. I brought in some audio today, guys. I brought in oh, some show right. prep. I know. Where is that, by the way? Steve was putting. It was on a DVD. I T-voted it and DVD'd it. Ah, I did Steve, it all. Steve, Look I at you. Put it on I don't know where that is. Did you put my, the thing I brought in on? Uh... Oh, yeah. you do have it. Okay. Yeah, it's right there. Where is it? It's right here. Oh, you got yeah. it now. It's yeah, the okay. governor of New Jersey's <laughs> wife, the right. acting governor. Well, first, I want to yeah. I want to play the audio of uh, Phil talking about uh, dime bag. Oh, he wasn't allowed at the funeral either. Right. No, he was not yeah, allowed at the yeah, funeral. Yeah, what the hell is going on? I didn't know this. Phil Anselmo. <laughs> Phil is the... Uh... It's Martini Steve. Martini Steve. It's Martini Steve. I love this one. Uh, All right, sorry. Thank you, Drew. Um, Phil Anselmo was the uh, former... A singer for Pantera, and uh, I guess after the band split up, the fans were very polarized. You know, half of them sort of sided with Phil, half of them sided with Dimebag and Vinny when they formed Damage Plan, and I guess Dimebag's family thinks that Phil indirectly had something to do with him with him getting shot on stage in There's like a conspiracy going on, a theory going on that he actually was involved in maybe a hit or something? Not, not so much a hit, but he, there's a lot of bashing that goes on at the Super Joint Ritual shows and at the, di- and at the Damage Plan shows uh with um between the fans you know phil is, is he the one the guy that we're hearing the interview from who is that that's phil the, that's, this this guy right yeah, here that's phil that's himself. phil now is he the one that was uh quoted right before dimebag was shot as saying uh dimebag needs to have the shit beat out of him he would say he was like saying that. stuff yeah, like he would he, get on stage and, and badmouth him and actually say that the guy should have yeah. violence put upon him. Yeah, and when you're dealing with a bunch of disenfranchised, you know, angry white kids in a crowd, you know, right. one of them might just take you literally. And that's not to say that's mm-hmm. what happened, but a lot of people seem to think. And Phil was not, uh, Phil was not invited to the funeral. I have I to jump in real quick. I talked to Florentine, who was told, who knows who knows Dimebag and you know he knew uh-huh. his girlfriend, and he said that at the he was talking to them, and apparently the guy, and this is what he told me. Who, who shot Dimebag? Like was supposedly hanging out with in Anselmo's trailer uh, when he was oh, there a month earlier. Well, which I don't think implies anything like he had him killed. Anything like that. It's probably more maybe the guy maybe they were just smoking pot, talking shit. Like yeah, that fucking ass. I don't know. Right. I don't think he had the guy killed, but that was just the rumor. And that did uh, Florentine uh, learn this in a prank call as a retarded child? <laughs> no. He got it Yay. From, no. He got it when he was down there, and oh. he said uh, that Phil. That, that she would call, the Dimebag wanted to get back the band back together, and they would call in someone, and he would never call them back, so the girlfriend was like, fuck you, Phil, you're not coming. Dimebag would wow. always try to call you and get the band back. That's what Jim told me that she told yeah. him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was basically, Jim's Jim's right, that uh, Dimebag and Vinny were trying to get the band back together for a reunion tour, and, and Solo was too busy, you know, just bad-mouthing. And, you know, maybe it's quite possible someone took him a little too seriously. This is like Spinal Tap on 20. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. now the audio you gave us. The audio was from a video clip uh, on the Fuse website um, where he's basically going off for four minutes apologizing to his fans about... What a doodle. Yeah. Uh, about uh, about uh, not, not, not apologizing, but I guess giving his... Thoughts I think he back. blames the media yeah, at one he point. Blames blames the heavy metal media for the breakup of heavy Pantera. metal media. Yeah, it's- in tonight's news. <laughs> I just heard a couple of clips from this. I didn't hear the whole thing, and he sounds like he's insane. He sounds like he just lost his mind. Well, we interviewed him once, and he was uh, yeah. on something very very strong. We thought it was H. Well, he said it was yeah. methadone. I don't know if that's Might true. Might have been. He, he, I'm, they had to drag him to the table for yeah. the interview. Remember that? He mm-hmm. was like a, a moving corpse. It was yep. the scariest thing I've ever seen doing radio, remember? Pretty cool. He looked dead. He looked like a dead guy just walking. Yeah. Great audio, though. 
It is, um, yeah, and then he was uh, talking about death and how it's overrated and yeah. stuff. Rock oh. star, man. Or underrated? What did he say? Death's overrated. Death is yeah. overrated. Death is overrated because he died once or whatever, and they brought him back. Yeah, he's one of those guys that did too much, and yeah. then they zapped him back on an operating table. All right, so, I mean, the video's kind of creepy. It's just a one shot of him just, like, losing his mind and uh, just sobbing and just... Yeah, he goes through crying. He gets angry. He gets, He's apologizing. He's, you know, and he's a little close to the situation. He kind of... Yeah. Look, I'm sure Dimebag was a great guy and all, you know, and if you knew him, it's about Everyone a says he was loss. a great guy, actually. Yeah, they all love him. He was yeah. lost and everything, if you know the guy, but for the most part, um, a lot of people really just don't care, you know? And this guy, I guess, is, uh, you know, pretty upset about the whole thing and kind of pissed off that he wasn't uh, invited to the, the funeral, and he voices it on this on this video. People want my reaction to what happened. This is not about me. This is about Dimebag Daryl. Purely Daryl. It's not about me or some motherfucking psycho that happened to destroy the most beautiful fucking person. My pet, one of my best friends in the world. It was the heavy metal goddamn media that destroyed Pantera. This is about Daryl, my brother of 17 years, who are Pantera's music changed people's lives, man. We weren't just some band. He was not just some guitar player. I want to say, bless his family and all, all of his close friends. Yeah, thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. I mean, obviously, he's pretty broken up about the whole thing. But, again, he's pretty close to the situation. I think it puts a little more importance on it. <laughs> you should never spill your guts out in public. You just can't. Because it just comes off weird and creepy. You know? Oh. And all, all of his close friends, and I never got a chance to say goodbye in the right way, and it kills me. And I'm so sorry. I wish to God I could have gone to his funeral, but I have to respect his family's wishes. And they do not want me there. I believe I belong there. But I understand completely. I'm so sorry to his band members. I'm so sorry to the whole fucking world that loved Don Bag Daryl. Oh because let me tell you something. There was not one motherfucker like him. Is this would have been his eulogy if he I'm would have so been allowed at the funeral? Family. Not one motherfucker like him. <laughs> And everyone else who was just senselessly killed in Columbus, Ohio. Huh? That's a town I love. That's a town I've played up a hundred times, god damn it. Hello, Columbus. I love that town. That's where Diamond Daryl got killed. This is very unique for me, and that's all I know. Just bless his family, bless, bless his friends. I love him like a brother loves a brother. Vinny Paul, my other brother, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We need that clip, by the way. To the cat who was shot twice. I would have taken a bullet for you, brother. Mark my words. Because I love you. And I love all of you. What is this world coming to? Oh, Jesus. 
This has changed the world. Okay. <laughs> Slow down. Again, I, I realize he's very upset. Very big deal, you know, to these guys and his family, of course. But, you know, open up today's paper. You see some world-changing events. <laughs> 68,000 people that died. Yeah, that's, that's world-changing. Because of a tsunami, that's... You can't have this fresh emotion like this. Put a video camera in front of you and put it up on a website. You should not do it. It's not a good idea. There's nothing good can come of that. The guy's losing his mind I, I, to everybody. Anybody who wants to, you know, pop that website up and see him. You know, there's some things maybe you should just keep to yourself a little bit. Maybe in more time you could get the video camera and send something off to the family. But this little public display is, ooh, it's just creepy. Change the world, man. Really? This has changed the world. I hope you all realize that now. This has changed the entire world. I, I, and this is the last you'll be seeing of me for a long time. Oh. I hope you're happy. He heavy metal music magazines. Media. I hope you're happy. That's that. Click. Mm -hmm. Was that heavy metal media run by Jews, too? Yeah, the Jews run the heavy metal media. Everyone knows that. <laughs> so what? he's going away for a while. Yeah, so he says. I mean, you don't know how clearly this guy is thinking. It sounds to me like... <laughs> yes, we do. Well, none uh, clearly. Yeah, none clearly. I like when guys... I like that. I don't know why I like it, because it's, it's very out of character. I don't I don't think it's contrived. I think it's very... If it's genuine... Oh, of course. I'm not saying it's no, contrived no, I know, no, at I know. all. I like it, too, because it's very raw. It's just... it, it, yeah, it, it, when, it, when it's contrived, it makes me want to just spit Pew. my thumb in someone's it's face. It's creepy. <laughs> that is creepy right there. It's so out of character for Anselmo to be... I mean, anyone who knows Pantera, the guy's an animal. Yeah. You know, and it's just, it, it's just raw and fuck you. And just to see him like that, it's just kind of... I don't know. It's, I like it. It's kind of interesting. You don't see it that Ooh. often. I agree, actually. He said some crazy stuff, but yeah, it, I mean his you know. friend got killed, so he's like, it doesn't change yeah. the world, but I no. mean, change the entire world. Yeah, I mean that's but a it's raw much. emotion coming out of him. Yeah, and he's just really sorry. I guess he felt like you know, maybe I don't know. I don't know enough about the situation. I just know he's it's he's awful. pissed off at metal at heavy metal magazines for perpetuating every negative comment he said on stage. I right. think, and that's where that came from. Right. Hey, you know something? How could he blame them? He's up on stage saying them. Yeah, you know, exactly. In hindsight, it That's probably news. looks bad yeah. and insensitive. But when you're having a brawl with somebody, yeah. you know, especially a stupid showbiz brawl, you're going to get on stage, say things, and uh, piss people off. And then if something tragic happens, there you are, left holding all that baggage. Yeah, now he's pissed off at himself, it seems like, maybe sure. a little bit. What's the, what's the website? Nope. Um, it's on Fuse TV. I put a link up on Foundry oh, as well. TV. All right, it's uh, it's linked to our websites. Yeah. All right, wow. Steve, thank yep. you very much. It's Martini Steve. Martini Steve. There he goes. Then. Martini Steve. Okay, and then uh, might as well play Jimmy's audio. You were very excited about this today. Not gonna be as good as Anselmo. You want to? Couldn't you have had uh, something a little le less really good before this? Yeah, this was just something I threw in. I figured I was all proud of myself. I did a little show prep. Yes, you did, and you taped something and everything. Oh, I burned it on a DVD. I even marked off what it was. All by yourself? Yep, closed off the DVD. Very I nice. I thought you had company. I did. First things first. You were doing this? The show comes first? Without Opie and Anthony, I don't have that company. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> yeah. You think I don't know that? <laughs> was she smiling, braces sparkling over your shoulder while you were doing it? Uh, was she, or was she just, like, laying there tired and irritated with me? <laughs> uh, Might I say she's been fine company, though. She's really fun <clears throat> really? to hang out. Yeah, I get, I want to just really bludgeon people after 40 minutes, but her, she's yeah. great. Did she make one of those little paper things that you work with your fingers? <laughs> I-L-O-V-E-Y-O-U. Okay, number six. <laughs> Open it up. Tell your fortune. No? No. <laughs> Did you play Shoots and Ladders? Hey, with Jimmy, it's poop shoots and ladder. <laughs> Poops and lo logs and ladders. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this girl? She's just a, a young lady. I've Some known fourteen for a year old years. girl. He's betting. Yeah. Very young girl that came to see Jimmy in New York. She came to see him. Oh yeah. Yes. Is she hot? Real hot. How bad does she hate her father? <laughs> she wears braces. 
Really? She's got braces. No, she, she doesn't. She was walking past this window when she came in. I swear to you, I'm going to yeah. be realistic. She looked 14. 14? 14. I'm going to say, I, I was joking saying 12, but no. She I would have said, said 17. Not, oh, let's go with no, 14. 14. That's fine. She the is, girl looks 14. She is legal, but the, what, so, but yeah. what's scary is that uh, Jimmy's known her for three years. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think she's legal. Such a creep. Why am I I creep? think she's legal. She's old enough to fight in Iraq. She's old enough to hang out with me. Oh, there you go. All right, let's say hi to Eric Iraq. again. Eric, anything going on? Yeah, they, um, they're setting up to look like they're doing live. They're doing a, a sound check and a white balance check. And um, there's a bunch of listeners down here with their WoW stickers now, too, so they're all spread out all over the place. So Excellent. So one of this stuff gets on. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay. Thank you. Eric is uh, attempting a assault on the media today. The first attempt wasn't that great. All right, we just lost him. That's fine. You want to uh, want to try the uh, audio now? All right, we'll give it a shot. I don't, I don't know what it's going to play out to, but... Well, what's the deal with this audio? Is Acting it, governor, what's his name? Cody of New Jersey. His wife's name is uh, Mary Jo Cody. I do not remember. I just kind of tuned it in as the broadcast was starting, and I hit TiVo quick. Took over for uh, old Governor Shit Dick <laughs> <Yeah>. over there, <laughs> uh, McGreevy in Jersey. And she's apparently manic depressive. And just to hear this stuff about the acting governor's wife, just I just giggled all the way through it, and I probably shouldn't have. Was he was he the lieutenant governor or something? I, I don't know how Jersey know. works, oh, no. but he wasn't elected to this. Right, post. no, no, neither no. was McGreevy. When McGreevy, uh, no, what? McGreevy, wait a minute. No, he wasn't. He took over for uh, Christy Whitman for when Whitman she went, when she went, went to, to the uh, EPA. Right. So, uh, yeah, so yeah. this is all the shit that comes out, all the skeletons that pour out when the media doesn't yeah. just dig into your life before you get elected to something. So yeah. McGreevy liked to suck an occasional uh, uh, cock, yeah. and uh, this guy apparently has a, a, an albatross around his neck and his wife. It, well, she just I don't know what, what his political aspirations are, but he could just... Make the little bye bye sign that <laughs> David Bowie makes in that stupid modern love video because it's gone, stupid. That's it. If, if, if this guy tried, because she could theoretically be the first lady, you okay. can go from governor to one more term in governor. You run for president. Sure. It's yeah. not uncommon. Clinton mm -hmm. was governor, Bush was governor. Yeah. So it's a huge post to be the governor of a state. And, uh, yeah. Oh, his wife is. And she's a, cuckoo. She's, this bitch is nuts. <laughs> she's nuts. All right, let's. Uh, first lady material. Here's Mary Jo Cody, Anthony. I felt like I was some kind of monster. Um, I had a, a scary thought about putting the baby in the microwave, and I'm done. Holy S! Putting my baby in the microwave. Oh, Holy wow. S! We're getting wow, major stickers. exposure on uh, Good Morning America. Opie wow. Holy wow. S! Opie and Anthony uh, XM. Oh, oh my God. God. Nice, nice job, nice. Eric. Eric! You got it? Nice. Oh, keep going. Keep, keep going. doing it. Holy S! God, wow. Keep doing it. Hold wow. on. Hold on. Stay there. Come wow. on. This is more important than the tsunami. Oh my! Oh, uh, bye, bye, old people. Oh, there they go again. Wow, there's two less Christmas Holy gifts. Holy! Oh, Those guys are going wow too. <laughs> we just oh. <laughs> we just spent an hour of the show just wasting time, but uh, Eric got the job That's done. Good. There it is. Hold it, hold it up. Hold right it up. Right there. It's perfect. Hold the hold other one up. Anthony, oh, Wow, XM Satellite <laughs> Radio. You oh, suck. Good job. Bravo. Get the other oh, one up. Yes. The there's our got stupid our dopey faces. faces. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Eric is the best. This is how you do assault on oh, the media. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. We're, we're, okay. There's now one of them, you can only see one of them. Take the other one and put it a little more center. There you go. Very nice. Excellent oh, job. Great. Keep spinning the sign. Keep spinning the sign. Yeah, keep spinning it just to annoy them. <laughs> <laughs> Major exposure on it. Uh, good morning, America. Yes. Major. Wow. Fantastic. There they are again. Yeah, it's move over a little. Move, there's one of them's got to oh, move over. Oh, they're trying to move the camera. Just follow the camera. Don't let them hide. Oh, who's this old bra? Oh, they wow, brought? right behind. What has she got? I don't know. Pots. What does she got? This is ABC, by the way. It's 50 years and blah, 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 blah. Hey, blah. only one sign is in frame. Move the other sign. Oh, all what? right. What happened, Eric? Uh, police are asking me to take the sign oh, down. Oh, stop it. Why? What is it, terrorism? The ABC page, yeah. Sure. It's not illegal. It's, okay. it's not like illegal. That. The cops are slowly saying it's a big fan, but we got to take it down. The ABC people are, are really complaining to the cops. Right now. <laughs> but it's right. not illegal. Why do they, why, how could they complain? The lady's holding one right there. Yeah, that's the a cops, sign, too. 
the cops being cool. He's like, hey, guys, I like it. Could you just be cool and take it down? I said, can I hold it up? And he just looked at me. He's like, nah, please take it down. You know what? We got major exposure. It's, All right, it's it, good it, enough. It, good it, job. It, don't, don't mess with the cop, man. Just do what he yeah, says. The, if the cop's a fan of all that, don't mess with yeah, him. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. He's just doing no, his no, job. No, no, no. Like I said, the cop was real cool, so I took it down. The paint is pissed. From ABC, good. Like the cop was oh, dude, stupid ABC. Good job, man. That'll be up on our website. That was major exposure. It wasn't just a little flash, oh. man. It was the oh. it was a, a big part of the 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 the, the TV. Oh, that was that, huge. That's so great. Yeah. Here, here we go. And in some feedback, Sam from Kentucky. I just seen the wow signs. Fast Freddy from Jamaica Station. Home run, awesome, excellent. Mike yeah. from Orlando. You're on the TV. Signs everywhere. Uh, it just goes on and on, Anthony. On hey, and on. Yeah. I want to thank some listeners that are here, Matt and John that came down. They brought their wow signs and uh, homemade signs and everything, and they got uh, they were jumping around like idiots too. Good. Do we have anything we could give them here at uh, the office? Um, yeah, I'll hook them. I'm gonna get their information and I'll send them a bunch of stuff. Well, if they want to stop by and say hi, they're more than they welcome. Want to come by and say hi. I, I gotta get to work. Gotta get to work. All right. Well, one of them's gonna come. One's gonna go to work, and we'll send stuff to the guy. Oh, uh, oh Danny's okay, here too. Come on, let's go. All right. All right we're coming back. We're coming. Great job, man. All right, thank you, you. Eric. Wow, bravo, man. great job today, man. Fantastic. Oh Anything man. For the show, sir. All right, there he goes, Eric. Very good. The hawk has struck again, Anthony. The hawk. Major, good job. Major freaking exposure. Jeff from Jersey, effing beautiful guys. He knows how it works. Yeah, it, it just goes on and on and on. Uh, like both signs were in frame for a while too. Hey guys, that shit, Dick McGreevy was elected as governor in Jersey. De, uh, De Francisco took over for Whitman when uh, I, she left. Geez, I Washington. remember, yeah, I remember the election party and all that stuff. Uh, I don't know. I'm just talking. Well, I must like have I been some election was. party. Yeah. yeah. yeah like was, where was it? The mine about. shaft. Yeah. With Parento, he was there too. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, the manhole. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, Parento. He was walking in. Everybody's thinking, "Hey, I'm a pro." <laughs> 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 Perking and jerking his stories. It was funny. Ben just went, oh, shit, because he like, caught himself gossiping. <laughs> he was just gossiping, a little gossip. How did he take the gay New Jersey governor and tie it in with Boston? I don't know how he does it. But he time. did. It all goes back to Boston. It all goes back to Boston for Ben. So It's it's the Kevin Bacon thing with Ben. It all goes Six back degrees to, of Boston? Six Boston. degrees of Boston. There you go. Wow, yeah, I mean, the instant feedback has exploded from all over the country. Yeah. Everyone saw it. Boston checking in, Pennsylvania, Jersey Shore. Dude, I saw your cartoon faces and the black and yellow wow sign. Everything was in picture. Perfect. Good. Perfect yeah. assault on the media today, Anthony. Perfect. We have our own little marketing campaign. I hope the uh, interns learn from Eric and realize how it's done. Yeah. Danny's good, too, though. Danny, Danny was Danny. No, uh, Danny was part of that. Yeah, no, I know. Danny did a great job, too. Helping out Eric today. Mike just got a little nervous that time. I think yeah, yeah, Mike, he... Mike stinks. Mike stinks. Oh. That's why he's back answering phone calls. He's been demoted. Look at him. Look I think him. we should give him oh. another shot sometime, though. He'll be all right. He's, he, we got to give him another chance. Send him down with the pro. All right. Maybe Let's... he's got to have his hand held by Eric, and then he'll learn how to do it. What about sending the guy with the Metallica shirt out there? We'll send... All right. <laughs> the recasting life goes on. We can certainly send him. Yeah. Assault on the media isn't everything. Now, winning that caddy tournament, <laughs> that's important. He really is a psycho. <laughs> Oh, wow. Now in 15 seconds, he'll hear this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, <take> it. <laughs> what is this guy riding? I don't ATV know. ATV through the flooded streets? Yeah, having fun with it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Hey, Steve, you going to get that up on the, the website? Everyone's requesting it. Are yeah, you going to get that on the website immediately? Uh, as soon as possible. I just got to transfer it. But yeah, it'll yeah, be up there. All right, right on. Arizona checking in, Anthony. I mean, and for his good job, Eric uh, gets to go to Vegas with us, right? Uh, no. 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 That's... He's got to stay here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oof. He's got to prove himself still. <laughs> that's <laughs> Poor bastard. All right. I don't even, uh, I didn't even listen to the first clip. Now nah, we cause... can do it later. No, let's... let's do it. All right. Whatever you say. Oh, so, uh... All right. Nothing going on. So, uh... Oh, what's that? Recap what, what what we're about to hear again. So, it's uh, it's the governor's wife of Jersey, Mary Jo Cody, and she's just Talking she's about just her nuts. doubt with depression for many years. Yeah, and she had some horrible uh, thoughts. That first one I heard. Are you replaying that one? I sort of heard it, because then I, I I was too busy watching the TV yeah. to see if it was happening. And so. the governor is sitting by her. The governor of a state. Watching his political career go down the tubes. Down the tubes. Because this woman's insane. Shut your wife up. All right, here's the first clip again. I felt like I was some kind of monster. Um, I had a, a scary thought about putting the baby in the microwave, and I'm done. <laughs> Put the oh, baby yes. in the microwave. Yeah, oh, that'll get you God. elected. Yeah. That's the governor's wife. Oh, my God. <laughs> Governor of Jersey. <laughs> Holy crap. 
Check, please. <laughs> oh, man. Will the Jersey governor's wife put the baby in the microwave? <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. You shouldn't say everything that you think. Yeah. You it's know? some of those demons in your head. There's a way to open up and say I've beaten this affliction yeah. without saying I wanted to put the little tot in the microwave. Baby in the microwave. There's nothing worse you could do to a baby. Oh, well, check that guy's uh, name off the list. Well, there may be other things. For you could... future presidents. There may be things you could do to a baby. I don't know. Maybe the next clip will tell. Oh, oh. you're kidding. There's more? No, I don't know. And I had the baby down below me in the water, and I thought I could drown him in a minute. And I thought to myself, I've had it again. I'm done. And I decided the hospital didn't work for me. I'm going to commit suicide. Yeah, she leave had the baby, baby alone. Baby in the bathtub or something. Yeah, he kind of cut what she was. She was. Uh, he should have left a little bit more of the clip in there because she was talking about b bathing the baby. Bathing the baby. And she had a thought about how she could just hold her underwater and drown it. Look, That's I great. could just hold this. You know, I think. You know, I think everyone has these evil thoughts at sure. some time. They come in your head where you see somebody and you go. Boy, if I push them, they'd fall right in front of that subway right Absolutely. there. Absolutely. You know, someone leaning out over the platform like an idiot, mm -hmm. and you look and go, I could just reach over and push them right there. But you don't, first of all, you, you don't do it. You don't ever think of you're going to do it. And you certainly don't talk about doing it next to your governor husband. <laughs> Put the baby in the microwave and then drown the little fellow. Oh, or you so. could drown him and then dry him off in the microwave. Yeah. <laughs> Leave the baby alone. Kill yourself. Well, she talked about that. And she said, drowned him. I could drown him. Drown. You stupid. What? That, that is such a white trash way to say it. I could have, I could drown him. Rich? They're only it... words. They're only, only words. words. Thank you, Rich. Oh, Moss. like two spelled T-O? <laughs> Who we'll do that? That's a weird one sometimes. Naming though. your next album should be No Such Thing as Silent L's. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it's... <laughs> All right. Well, is that it, I guess? I don't know, whatever Steve put on there. Let's see if there's another clip here. I just told my psychiatrist, I called him up and I said, I just, I'm not making it. I'm, I can't face the day. So she upped my, she upped my antidepressants too much. And I had seizures. And then I went into a coma. Oh, this yes. woman is a prize. What a disaster she is. Oh, there's more. Is she hot? Wow. Now she's a mediocre. Rather have Mrs. McGreevy's homosexual <laughs> turning vagina in bed next to you than this kook. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this guy's getting a good night's sleep, right? <laughs> yeah. And you know he's thinking about McGreevy going, I see your point. <laughs> you lean over, you toot on it, you talk about the game, no one gets hurt. How the, how the hell? Go ahead. I, I see all your fag oh. friend wants to do is maybe put a little molding up. He doesn't want to right. drown your infant. Drown your kid. And how the hell is this guy governing, governing the state? He has to sleep with one eye open. <laughs> Unbelievable. With a little walkie-talkie hooked up in the baby's room. Right. Make sure she's not in there oh. flambeing it. Really, baby monitor on all the time. Psychotic whore. He's trying to make decisions, fiscal decisions. Right, and the, her medication's under lock and key. I don't know what fiscal decisions are, fiscal. by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fiscal. We went with it, though. Yeah, it was nice. You got your baby monitor hooked up to a Bluetooth so you can just hear it wherever <laughs> you are at all times. Talk back to it. Honey, no! Oh, God. Don't put the baby in the microwave. There might be some more uh, audio of this little uh, let's try one more here. all right adversity no stranger here just three months later breast cancer an interim medication Jesus. for her depression and now a visit to her cancer doctor i said um, i'm i hope i die on the table i seriously hope that i die on the table my sister started to cry but i just can't go on when i get like that i just i can't i mean breast cancer didn't phase me because I was already down so low that when someone told me I had breast cancer, there was no more steps to go down. Oh, man. Can I say for the record, the only thing worse than a woman putting your child in the microwave is if you can't titty fuck her after. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is the same guy that can't understand why they're not going to take us off the premium channel anytime soon. Are you insane? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, XM wants to promote this. They're so proud oh, of this. Yeah, I got to keep plugging Bob Edwards. Who cares? Oh, my God. Who cares? Wow. I want to congratulate uh, Governor Peterson and his wife. <laughs> no? Yeah. Thanks on the instant feedback for that suggestion. Remove baby from pouch. <laughs> Microwave oh, yeah. on high for three seconds.
I uh, yeah, I did say that. I'll 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 take a bullet here. Governoring? Oh yeah, governoring. Yeah, we did let that slide. Yeah, yeah we John. did. John, but we can't stop every time someone messes up. John, oh, yes we can. <laughs> Please, John. <laughs> yes, Yo. John. What's up, gentlemen? Yeah, go ahead. And, and, I, we'll be... and I try to say it three times. Yeah, you know, governing, 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 governing. I'm like something's not making sense here. <laughs> Governing. Well, you know, when Voss is here, it rubs off on all yeah, of us. That's Bush awesome. is doing a good job presidenting. presidenting. <laughs> all right, all right. Governoring. Governoring. It's ridiculous. I really couldn't figure it out in my head today. Governing. Governoring. Governing. I have a really, really, really horrible headache today, too. So, All right, John. Thank you for right. noticing. Holla back, guys. All right. Holla. Holla. Great. More people to gaze in on us through the window. <laughs> I love this. Yeah, we're I on love display. this arrangement. This is it's our like new thing. Zoo. We're on display every day. The listeners, uh, if you want to come down and check out the show, I guess there's a studio audience now. I don't know. There's like yeah. there's like six or seven seats available every day. And Ope suggested we have a sign saying something yeah. about what we're. Well, I, I, we feel like we're in you know in a cage in a zoo, so we figured we'd we'd get a plaque made. One of those plaques so they could read a little about us. Yeah. Our natural habitat oh, and hilarious. where we're from. Yeah. What we're eating. Hey. Not to feed us, what our feeding schedule is. Well, if a listener How Jimmy wants to... throws off noxi noxious fumes yeah. as his defense mechanism. Yeah. You know what? If a listener wants to take it upon themselves, it's just like going to like the Bronx Zoo or something, and you know, you go to some of these uh, displays where they have the huge glass, and then yeah. they have the little plaque on the side, you know, the, to tell you what you're seeing. Walk by and you read it. If the listeners want to write up a little something that we could proudly display outside the studio for yeah. other listeners that are checking us out through the glass, that'd be great. And, uh, yeah, like how the, the chinless one releases gas when he gets frightened or has a good idea. He, just, <laughs> he panics and his bowels empty into his boxers. <laughs> but don't say homo sapiens. Other no. people around the office may get upset. Ooh. Yeah, as soon as Eric gets back, we'll talk about that. Please we'll say do that in a little bit. Say shit dick sapien. Ben, I like that better. <laughs> Fits. Ben's like, he's back, he's back. Oh, oh. It was more of a tease, like, you know, make him believe he's not here yet, and then eventually we'll get to him. Relax. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. Wait, He's back. Old yeah. Don't get up. No hat. Yeah, yeah. Way to kick a hole through the fourth wall, Ben. <laughs> right. <laughs> but he's back. He's been back for ten minutes. All right, we get it. Uh, James. Uh, James Gum. Uh, good morning, boys. James, <laughs> James Gum. How you doing, Cookie? Hi, James. Uh, yeah, it's my fault about the governor. I'm the one who told her. It puts the baby in the microwave. It does this whenever it's told. <laughs> would you? Put would the you? baby in the friggin' microwave. <laughs> Do you think the baby would cry when the mother was going to drown it and go, My father's very important. He'll pay you, Mom. <laughs> wow. He'll pay you. Oh, that's awful, man. And then she gets that. She got that. The kooky trifecta. What a disaster she oh is. Oh, my God. Anthony, you know what? We have to seg, after listening to that audio, seg into the uh, PSA with the, the chick from... Ooh. Well, we have a lot of new listeners. we got to play this yeah. again. The chick from San Francisco, the yep. PSA about dropping acid. Dropping uh, acid, right. This is one of my favorite things. This is actually, uh, what was it, early 70s, I guess? Late 60s? Late 60s. Early oh. 70s. Kate was, Asbury. It was sort of... Uh, Trying to keep people off the drugs, keep them off the acid. So they figured they'd use the scare tactic. Right. And uh, they got this girl to talk about her experience with acid. Right. And it's really groovy. You hear like the Moog synthesizer in the background, and she tells this horrible story about eating a hot dog. Oh, I got tons of great acid stories. <laughs> Do you really? Oh, eating window hot pain, dog stories. All right, water. Well, I was eating a hot dog, and it turned out to be Jim Norton. <laughs> <laughs> that that wasn't acid. It couldn't be Jim Norton though, because I'm clipped. Oh. Yeah, well, what, hot dogs have foreskins? Nah, but there was just the shape would probably be the same, just a similar, if you were on acid, just yeah. one long, awful mess without a shape, maybe a little rumple skin on the end. <laughs> 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 what, was that me? Was that coming for me? No. No, relax, that, dude. Let's, oh. uh, here's the PSA, Anthony. Yeah. We'll stop it as we go along here. Group. <laughs> <laughs> The that music. music's perfect, Bella. <laughs> yeah, the music's changing to indicate the. It's kicking in. It's kicking in. Peter. This is just gets better and Take better. Take care. Listen to this. Pull this thing. I was very hungry, and I had put mustard and ketchup and relish in the usual, and I put the hot dog up to my mouth, and somebody started screaming. <laughs> Sounds like Jimmy with gas. I didn't know what was happening, so I looked up at my friend Terry and said, Did you hear that? Didn't you hear someone scream? He said no. 
I got the hot dog up to my mouth again, and I was ready to bite, and the scream got louder. <laughs> Groovy. <laughs> Is that Jimmy Page? <laughs> <laughs> Playing his guitar with the bow? <laughs> Wait for Sergeant Friday to show up. Sure, you're taking drugs. I love that one. Remember, yeah, Remember the one yeah. where... Uh, uh, it was a uh, dragnet yeah. where the girl took a bath or something. She gave the baby a bath and it drowned in the tub because she was smoking marijuana. That was the governor's wife. Was it? Is she a drowner? Good callback. I like that. Thank you. Yeah. No one appreciates it on these goddamn messages. That's boards. a great one. Cody's wife was a fine babysitter at Tommy Lee's house. <laughs> oh, oh, very good. But, you know, oh, that silly governor's wife and her five kids in Houston, Texas. <laughs> oh, that governor Cody's <laughs> wife loves her minivan, doesn't she? So she's ready to bite the hot dog. Yeah. And it hit me. No, it couldn't be. And I looked down at the hot dog, and there was a face on him. It was Rich Voss. <laughs> Eyes, nose, a mouth. I had put the ketchup to where it looked like his hair. Want to buy a hot dog bun? <laughs> and he started telling me that I couldn't eat him. That he had a wife and seven kids at home to support. <laughs> and I stood there with his hot dog and asked Terry, do you know this hot dog is talking to me? And he says, nah, let's get out of here. He thought I was just faking. Oh, and I told him, look at the thing. He's got a face. And he's screaming. And the guy finally looked over, and he got on the same trip that I was on. Thanks, bitch. You guys having and a good time? She wrecked carrying it. on a conversation with that hot dog. Finally, I decided I was just hallucinating, so I put it in my mouth and bit down. Oh. <laughs> Screamed so loud that you could hear it all over town. So I had to throw it on the ground and step on it. Of course you did. And I was jumping on this hot dog in the middle of Market Street. It's our friend's junk. <laughs> what a trip! I realized that I had murdered it. I kept screaming down the street, scared. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, that was audio of the tsunami coming in. <laughs> I wrapped it in duct tape and plastic and threw it on the uh, off my fishing boat. You will let me know when that hot dog stops screaming. <laughs> what it became of your hot dog? <laughs> they, I, how twisted is that? That's, wow. That's she ruined stuff. that guy's trip, though. The guy's having a good time. She's talking about the screaming hot dog, and, and then the guy started singing it. He was having a good time. Yeah, dope. He, he was we able were, to handle his dose. Yeah. We were doing bladder acid or, or, or one of them, window pane. We're up in my friend's garage where they uh, had band practice. And we're all tripping, and one of our friends tripped and fell and busted his skull, and blood was pouring down his face, and we started cracking up. <laughs> He just makes himself laugh, Anthony. <laughs> oh. And my friend tripped, and he started bleeding about the head. <laughs> we, we go and back. I saw this rabbit laughing and laughing. <laughs> we told him, we said, man, you got to get out. We, we kicked him out of the garage because he was ruining everybody's trip, man. Oh, oh man. I owe my daughter's money for sauerkraut. <laughs> I'm dodging them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this gopher was talking about a dryer door. <laughs> My goodness. By the way, can I can I say um the Tom Smith from Wilmington Mass hmm? said Jim, you gay fucking shit dick asshole. Oh. No one cares about your penis. I wasn't talking about my penis. Oh yeah, I did say it was clipped. Uh, yes. Right, my fault. Yes, you did. <laughs> you lamb I, bastard. I and then... stand corrected. No, that was what he said to me. He he <laughs> called me those names. Right. Because I was just talking about my penis as far as being a hot dog. And being I got gotcha. you. Saying that there was a spongy, delicious head on the end of it. <laughs> Which you oh. won't find on a hot dog. You certainly won't. So you'll find it coming through a hole. <laughs> At the truck you got, stop bathroom. You, got, you don't find a big, fat, thick wraparound vein on a hot dog, do you, sir? <laughs> so I, I won't talk about my penis anymore. Very good. All right. Why don't we take a break, Anthony? All righty. Got a little gossip, a little office gossip to get Ooh. to next. Andrew from Louisiana saying uh, a new Quinn Martin production, Hot Dog of Murder. <laughs> <laughs> Do it.
<laughs> Murdered that hot dog. We you going, Rich? We're, we're going to play something from the Silence of the Lambs, the musical. Anime. Oh, are you playing our favorite? Yeah, it's put. Uh, it, yeah, put the effing lotion in the basket. I love that one. Check this out. You wanted to, we have a lot of new listeners. Really fast, it's a couple guys in L.A. That yeah, a couple of guys in California. They are uh, music majors and decided to kind of you know uh, make Silence of the Lambs the musical. It's a CD yeah. that you can get. I think the info for this is up on our website somewhere, right? Very funny. And this is our favorite song. <laughs> Okay, terrific. Okay, terrific. You're checking out the Opie and Anthony show, the ONA virus spreading across America. Yes. Thanks to XM Satellite Radio. We're doing our own marketing at this point. We got a huge hit today on Good Morning America, Anthony. That was huge, national. This Eric kid is unbelievable. He really is. This Eric kid's going to go far. He was a huge hire for the program. Absolutely a huge hire. Um... He got the job done again today. Yep. Good morning, America. And he has these just massive, huge Opie and Anthony signs, wow signs, our cartoon faces, just massive. It wasn't just a little thing where you're like, wait, what was that? I mean, you couldn't help it. It was it was the whole thing. It you was very distracting. At, uh, you weren't looking at anyone else's sign or anything in that shot. It no. Was not even the anchor, the person that was uh, doing the report or anything. You're looking at those stupid, colorful signs popping up and down. There are a lot of wow. good signs we have around the uh, the office. People send in some really funny ones. Oh, people send in. Uh, send, send oh, Ben, in. that's a lot. We got a great sign. Some listener sent in. It's hilarious. It says, Opie Anthony XM. Yeah. Right. And above it, in big yellow letters, it says, shit dick. Yes. Because people listen to the program. They hear us, a uh, program. Uh, they hear us uh, talk about things. They heard us play that, that song, shit dick. And then they send in signs. That was a fine song by uh, the Panzerfaust record label, Shit Dick. It was a little song from Panzerfaust Records, Shit Dick. Uh, 1992. Who wrote Shit Dick? <laughs> now we got to play the song for all the new listeners. Ed Norton. Mrs. Manicotti walks in. <laughs> oh, Judas P. Shit Dick. <laughs> little song, Panzerfaust Records, Shit Dick. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Cramden. <laughs> oh, we're popping it in there. There we are. It's a there fine it number. Of course it is. Yeah, Shit dick. Well, uh, we yes. got some gossip, but we should play this song for all the new listeners can, out there. Can you that, get that shirt out of the way there, um, uh, uh, Hawk? There that, we go. That's uh, where you can see yeah. Shit dick when you're in the studio. Oh, we're putting the signs back where they were? They should be up there. Oh, that, that's where it was? Down. It was taken down. We'll explain. Yeah. In a Why second. would anyone take down? We'll explain in a second. Okay. But for the for the new listeners, a lot of people, you know, just getting their XM satellite radios for Christmas. They don't know what this song's about. But oh. so we should just play it. You're and right. Then, and then the sign was made, and then it caused a stir at the office after oh. we left the uh, the air yesterday. So first, the song. There you have it. The song that started it all, Anthony. Right? Yeah. This was sent in by uh, Panzerfaust Records, and uh, it's an assortment of really bad racist and homophobic music and uh you know we listen to these things and people send them in we listen to anything and they're offensive well i'll i'll fess up to that very offensive but there's something about these panzerfaust ones that are just catchy in a dopey way makes you chuckle a little bit and you you, you you're you find yourself at home going dun, 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 you <laughs> <shit dig." laughs> You'll be singing that one. Jim Norton. Well, shit dick. <laughs> I don't like that version. Under the porch, shit <laughs> dick. I don't, no, 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 that's not, that's not the lyrics. By Hank Rilly, he's straight. Shit, shit dick. dick. People at serious. <laughs> shit dick. <laughs> so uh, then our listeners uh, started making signs. Yeah. And one of them is the shit dick sign that uh, is displayed over the window. Over uh-huh. There. And some people, uh, some people don't like it, Opie. What? Eh, some people got a little annoyed from what I hear. And basically, Anthony and I, you know, when 10 o'clock comes, we just 
We just leave. I flee the studio. We're pretty much calling it in these days. We've done 10 years of radio together. We just call it in. I mean, let's be honest with each other. Call it in. You know, we we are here about 5.15, so we'll show prep 45 minutes a day. Tops. Nah. 10 o'clock comes. We can't be bothered. We go right home, right? Get me, get me out of here. But our fine staff stays sometimes to like 5 in the afternoon, right? Wow. All day, Anthony. That's All day crazy. to make us look good because we really don't care at this They point. stay till my bedtime. <laughs> right. <laughs> Five so, o'clock. <laughs> are you, Fucking schedule. Are you guys insane? Time management. All right. Yeah, that's good. All right. So uh, they're working their asses off yesterday. And what happened? I guess Eric. Uh... Eric was the first one or Ben that heard the uh, commotion. Uh, hold, there on. Was a hold, commotion. On, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It's Ben. Oh. oh. Go. Hurricane Ben. <laughs> Look at him hurting Derek for yeah. this song. It's Ben. Have a herky jerky. <laughs> yeah, no, I heard the door. I was in the office. I heard the door slam. It sounded, these doors are what really door, heavy. The studio doors? Yeah, they weigh I, about 500 pounds yeah. each. These are soundproof, heavy doors. I just heard, so I couldn't believe how loud it was. And By the way, around. it's impossible to slam that door. Try it. Someone try to slam uh -oh. this door. Oh, that you had to be so pissed to actually slam. It was way louder uh, than that. Yeah, yeah. I heard it all the way across the hall. That was loud. It, someone was pissed. Someone was pissed, and that's all you heard. I was, yeah, I was on the computer. I wasn't really, but I then heard. You were trying to get the latest gossip. Yeah, that's why you are. What happened? A door slamming in Boston. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so then Eric, Eric actually uh, knows ex what happened, right? So um, later on, one of the guys here at XM was doing an interview using our studio. Well, now, was now why was he doing that? I guess he got permission. He got permission to use the Opie and Anthony studio. It says the Opie and Anthony studio, right. basically. This mm -hmm. huge sign says Opie and Anthony. Now, there's two studios in here. There's the Opie and Anthony studio. Which is really huge and palatial. Roomy. And quite Roomy. luxurious, Watch. Anthony. You could really stretch look, out we and get a big just, yawn, right, Ben? Oh, look at us. <laughs> Everyone can stretch at the same time. Look. Oh. Big yep. through the hips. Roomy. Roomy. Very roomy. <laughs> if, this was, if this was a woman, it would be a size 14. Right. <laughs> It's a big fat studio. <laughs> it was a large spice. <laughs> and then there's the other studio. Then there's the other closet where all, they all the people Frank's place. that used to use this big, huge studio. Oh, uh, look at the size, size, size. size. <laughs> giant, giant. They giant. were kind of displaced, and uh, they were given that little little thing over there. They turned an uh, someone's office, which wasn't even really an office. No, it was it, a desk and a phone. It was a half of office. Yeah. Into a studio where they fit a console, monitors, TV, everything you would need for a studio in in a closet. Right. And that is what everyone else uses. Right. Because I, I believe people knew there would be some type of conflict if some of the people that worked here previously to us being here started using our studio because we like it in a certain way. And that certain way is hanging up some of our trophies of conquests. In our pictures that we hang on the wall. Some of the new and girls that our, have been on the right. show. Some of our videos and DVDs that we get. Oh, yeah, some sure. friends of the show. Uh, <laughs> he spilt the chips. Oh, my God. The poker chips are falling out. Hey, I'm sorry. What, are you going to heave those at somebody? No, no, no. no, no. Yeah, then we have the famous poker chips, Anthony, that yeah. could be thrown at a guest at any Not given very time. very expensive, but then you look up top and there's various lubricants on the shelves. Well, you got the Century Sex video oh. and the wiffle ball bat that's been used a few times. And sure, all the KY and... Yeah. And lubricants, and then, and, and then the montage of girls that have been naked on the yeah. show. And, and the signs. And the signs, right. The signs. Well, let's go from uh, right to left. you got Donkey Sausage, Opie and Anthony. Yeah. Wool Connor, Opie and Anthony. <laughs> Lil. <laughs> then you got Connor. Where's Chester. Where's Chester? Opie and Anthony, XM. I mean, if you want to add to the signs, that, that's, that would be wonderful. Yeah. And then this one over here that caused all the problems. Shit dick. Shit dick. <laughs> In our studio. Now, this what like, this sign is this meant for... This is like for. coming into our house when you enter that yeah. door over there. What that sign is meant for is uh, for assault on the media. Eventually. That's like our atomic bomb. Yeah, that's like phase three. Yeah. When it gets boring. You know, eventually it'll get boring just to see our names and wow and, and FM we, on when TV. And we want to ruin it. And then we'll start really up in the ante, yes. Because if, you, if you're sitting there watching the news and all of a sudden you see shit dick pop up, <laughs> <laughs> man, that is such a treat. You, I guarantee if you're at home watching and you see shit dick pop up, Shit dick, Opie and Anthony, you will laugh so hard you will have to go to the bathroom. You might hemorrhage. Yeah. It's one of those things because you see it on TV and it's shocking. Shock, shock, shocking. It's shocking. So you see, and that's what the sign is for. Right. But 
you know, people that don't know the backstory might see that and think, you know, we're um, we're we're uh, hateful. But this is our playhouse. This is our playhouse. We have stuff in here. Right, and we don't. We don't and if someone wants to come in and use our studio because it's roomy and big enough to have guests in, mm-hmm. uh, it's it's not our problem if they're offended by some of the stuff that goes on in here. Well, what ha- who was using the studio? Uh, the people from the Broadway Channel. The Broadway <laughs> no. Channel. Oh, the the Broadway you... Channel. Oh. On Broadway. Broadway. On Broadway. Nice. The people, Eric, or is it? How many people? The gentleman who runs the Broadway. Oh, gentleman. Oh, and he's not used to shit dick? <laughs> well, well, we don't know. We, we really don't, don't know. know, Rich. We don't know. I don't oh, think please, he, uh, Broadway. Please, I, how about Nathan Lane shit dick? <laughs> <laughs> All right, right. Nathan Lane. Let's oh, relax, okay? okay. I am only. I can't imagine why somebody from a Broadway who runs a Broadway channel would be offended by shit dick. I don't either. I cannot imagine. I why. don't. I don't know. All right. So what happened? Uh, so they come in. They set up. They're now, doing, who were who were they interviewing? I don't know who the lady is, but she had to be pushing fifty. So she's right. well established in Broadway. Yeah, I hear she's a, she's a very famous Broadway actress. Oh, really? If you're in the Broadway circle, you would know who she right. was. Right. If you're not, you could care less about so this exactly. aging no meatbag. Exactly. So they come in. Um, what was her name? The- Mario Cantone? <laughs> <laughs> Mario Cantone! Oh. Shit, dude! <laughs> you so hate they- to say this, Cartman. Shit, <laughs> <laughs> dude. <laughs> Mario Cantone. Hit <laughs> me. You can't do the impression, obviously. Uh. So anyway, they come in and they're setting up, and yeah. um, the engineer that they're using makes sure that our settings are fine. They redo it so they can do their interview. They do the interview. Yeah. About 25 minutes. Interview goes by. All done. The actress gets up with her publicist and leaves. The Broadway guy's here, and somebody who's, a, I think he might be the head of the New York Theaters Guild. Mr. Favisham. <laughs> 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 Coming on the Lodge show, I believe. Okay. Um, the Broadway guy is sitting where Rich is, and the New York Theater Guild guy is sitting right here on the lesbian couch. Oh, boy. And they're Only ta- he knew. They're talking with the person who... as he'll get to vagina. <laughs> <laughs> they're talking with the person who was engineering the show, and um, I see the Broadway guy's face just getting all mad. Uh-oh. So we're in the producer studio doing some work, so... We turn it on, pot it up so we can hear what's going on. Oh. Right? I wish you taped it. We tried to, but they would have known we were taping it. We, we tried to. We really did. Wow. He's all upset. Starts um, complaining to the engineer, saying, you know, doesn't XM have some kind of line of decency that th- this stuff is inappropriate in the they workplace? They hired us. No, they uh, don't. In the uh, workplace. In the workplace. Right? In the like, work this isn't a workplace. And we get to just it, screw off. That's our jobs. This isn't work. This isn't an, uh, an office that you go to work in. Stop confusing radio with a workplace. Well, it is. No, no. That's the people that do confuse it. Uh, only get to a certain level and wonder why nobody knows their name or cares right. about them. That's why, stupid. Believe it or not, this is a place like an artist's studio. It's not an office. This is where you come in and create. We're artists. And make things <laughs> unfettered by stupid office regulations like you want to smear all over the place. Anyone that says workplace, yeah. my opinion is that the type of jizz bucket right. that will throw that word around to scare the boss. I don't like that type of harassment in the workplace. Workplace. Because <laughs> yeah. it instantly conjures up the harassment things and, and uh, get people getting in trouble. I can't wait to get rid of those cubicles. Yeah. Oh. It can't happen soon enough. Oh, when, when is the bulldozer coming in? We should have a party. Just get a sledgehammer. Because oh, and... it does look like a workplace because all these... Yeah, these offices. These all these the boars that have been hanging out in this office for the last few years have made it into a boring workplace They try atmosphere. to be individuals by hanging little things up yeah, in the uh, cubicle, but it's still a cubicle. Placards. Oh. So what happened, Need Eric? a tsunami to sweep so... through here and just wash <laughs> it out a window. So like I said, the guy, I see the guy getting mad, so we pot it up and we're listening. And he's talking about, doesn't XM have some kind of line of decency that everyone has to follow you know, in the workplace? And while he's saying that, he leans over, and that, that sign was on the floor at the, the time. The shit dick sign. Picks up the shit dick sign, and he starts waving it in his left hand, right? And he's <laughs> oh, like, yeah. what have been I mean, <laughs> look at this. Yeah. Shit dick. You know yeah. what he should have done? Deep Grabbed voice. a camera and snapped the picture of him holding that sign <laughs> yeah. up. We'd have put it up on the website. <laughs> he was mad because it wasn't a real dick in his hand. 
Oh, Voss, that's oh, not polite. Up, those Broadway faggots. Let me tell you something about this. If you want to uh, sue know. anyone, his name is Rich Voss. Rich well, Voss. I try yeah. hitting yeah. dump buttons around anything. here. We have no idea if this guy. I try is hitting dump buttons. Does. I don't know if they work or not around well, here. I don't know. That. I didn't say any guy's name, but you know, there are a bunch of liberals that get so mad at everything. You know, they're just a bunch of babies. They I can't say this, say that. The goddamn. You know what? You know, if Janine Garofalo was in here saying that shit, they wouldn't have a problem. Why am I in trouble or something? No, go. No, I just, I just, point. Fucking, you know, forget it. Just liberals. Dude, I don't, look, I personally, I can't see why anyone who runs a Broadway channel would be offended by the term shit dick. I don't know why that would bother what them or that? affect them at all. Right. It oh, has nothing to do with them. What? No. What? What? Shut up, you coward. What? <laughs> Jesus, will you be a man for one? Stop he, going. He's looking around. Is he here? Shut yeah, no, up. No, I get all that. scared like the guy might be here. No, I thought it was like an What's he going to do, thing? run in and sing at you? Shut your mouth. <laughs> I didn't appreciate that. <laughs> get, back into your, get back in the closet studio. That is a closet studio, as it should be. Voss. Voss. Stupid Voss. <laughs> Fuck off, Voss. <laughs> going to come in and sing and dance at his face. Right. The, the Jets versus the shit dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Yuck. Oh my god. Uh, How about that? You know what? I don't want to offend anybody's sense of decency. So what you know what may have to happen? Yeah. No longer permitted in the studio. We don't want to upset anybody. Yes, that uh, might have to be yeah, the well, rule. He entered our you know, our atmosphere here. So yeah. of course nobody's waving it around. That that sign is up in the top corner. You don't have to look at it. Anybody right. get a hold of yourself. But this is part of the workplace. Uh, the workplace. So we need to, you know, get rid of anything. And I heard that there was some offense uh, taken well, at the that, nude, it goes to that, right, nude woman right picture. So oh the guy's holding God. the guy's holding the sign and waving it to the engineer and he goes, I mean, come on, shit dick, what is this? And he's and then he throws the sign down, right? Oh. The theater guild guy sitting right here and he goes this, he's like, we walked in here, and I didn't notice until about a couple of minutes we're doing the interview that all this um, indecency is in here. I mean, if I would have known, and he points to the, uh, the wall, hot naked pictures, wall of hot beautiful girls, girls, right? And the last one is uh, one of the girls that were in the studio here, young, nude, on all fours on a bed. Yeah, that's the girl that giving took a sexy little look. Well, that's the girl that took three fingers, Anthony. Right. Yep. Okay. And Nina. there is nothing. Offensive about that photo. Nope, she's just. Topless. It is a beautiful photo. Yeah. Beautiful. She's not uh, in in the Opie and Anthony studio. Yeah, three fingers. I got her beat and by two. <laughs> <laughs> it's very surprising that somebody else from Broadway would be offended. Yeah. By the naked girls, and it's amazing. These are probably the same people that would scream if you complained about Robert Maplethorpe's work. Mm -hmm. These are probably the same people that would fight for his right to freedom of expression. Right. Because you're a homophobe if you find Maplethorpe repugnant. Uh, when it's a bunch of naked girls, well, now it's a problem in, here's our favorite term, the workplace. The workplace. This is where we create. Yes. We come in on a daily basis and uh, talk and get ideas, and a lot of that is based on our environment. We can't... We can't sit at those cubicles and start talking back and forth and do the show that we do in here because the atmosphere just isn't conducive to this type of show. We come in. We like the atmosphere. It's comfortable. I think you could tell even the first few shows before we really got comfortable in here, mm -hmm. it's a little uh, off. You know what I mean? Sure. And then as time goes by and we add and personalize the studio more, it becomes more familiar and friendly and more us. And we do, uh, uh, we're able to create better. It's called a studio because artists work in a studio. Right. So go back to your cubicle because uh -huh. that's where you belong. <laughs> yeah. You are an office dullard, and you, you, you consider this a workplace, so go back to the cubicle. Yeah. And whatever it is you do in the cubicle blah, 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 is your business. If you want to go to your closet and conduct an interview, you, yeah, that's what you should fine. do. It. The little closet office, Right. you should get back in that closet and just begin interviewing people. That's where you should do your interviews. Exactly. There is a little closet with a little bit of office, with a little bit of uh, microphones. That's where you can do all your interviews. That's it. You know? Absolutely. But don't do you come think in that here. Broadway, uh, uh, like uh, when they're rehearsing for shows, do you think there's little things up on the walls and in the dressing rooms? Do you think maybe there's a picture of, uh, I don't know, some guy with tight abs? Yeah, Barishnikov. Muscles. Barishnikov or something? Yeah. Well, yeah maybe. But that inspires them. Sure. A pair of tights that show off. His mule and his bag and his oh. veins. You don't hear any complaints about that, I'll bet. Are you talking about Ben? 
<laughs> or, oh, I thought you were talking about our own Ben Sparks for a moment. So, I can't imagine why they'd be offended. So what else, Eric? That was about it? or oh, well, Didn't they talk to Bruce, the guy that <gasps> runs the New York office? That's where this is leading. So okay. the theater guy, the theater guild guy, is pointing to the to the pictures of the girls. Yeah. And he goes, I mean, look at this. Next time, this is all has to be taken down. It's like, we have oh, to get really? rid of Next all of this. Next time. Right? So, like Bruce said, came in and Bruce goes, oh, wait a minute. Whether you like it or not, these guys run this place. And until I I'm told like different, that. you do not touch anything, you leave it here, and this is their studio. And Bruce says, oh, we'll just find some other place for you to record. Very yeah. good. See, Thank Bruce you, Bruce. Knows. Bruce is a huge fan Bruce of the show. Bruce is he, the man. He is the man. Well, he knows we're not going around, I mean, and telling any, as much as we bust balls or whatever, we're not telling anybody else in the office how, like, we're not pretending we're offended at anything they do or trying to get them to change the way they run business at all. Mm -hmm. I would never go into that other studio and, and care what they're doing. <laughs> Ever. Yeah. If they were in this studio, I would never care what they and were doing. And if you had to use that studio for something, you'd go in there, use it, and it, would, would it matter what was there? None or of my business. Or, right. None of your business. And it's not the guy, it's not the Frank's Place guy that we're talking about. He, uh -huh. I actually, I like him. I see him a lot. We say hello now, and he's little, conformed. Yeah. Well, a little awkwardness at the beginning, and now we're all finding a way to coexist. Yeah, and... we don't mind the Oompa Loompa anymore. Ah, there, we like him. There's oh. the Oompa Loompa update. We don't mind him anymore. Because I, mean, I nod at him now. Again, I'm almost uh, to the point where I'm going to actually say hi. I, I nod, though. We are arrogant dickheads. And, <laughs> no, and in fairness, we, we, we really are. are. We came in here, and look, here was the attitude. Hello, little man. Beat it. Take Beat your it. sign down and tell your story walking. We were kind of dickheads about it. I'll acknowledge that. Sure. I certainly was. Sure. Walking around the office talking to Bruce. I can't wait to get these shitty cubicles out of here so bands can come in and play. Sorry, yeah. I know you've been working and sweating here. So, mm -hmm. all right, I can see why some people wouldn't like us. All right. You walked around all cocksure. <laughs> Speaking hey, of... Uh... Cock of the walk, Ant. <laughs> cock of the walk. <laughs> Although I'm sure that wouldn't offend certain people. <laughs> Just speculating. I don't have anybody in mind, of course. <laughs> Yuck! Speaking of making friends, Anthony. Uh, making friends every day on this show. You want to um, explain what we did the other day with the sex videos? This was a huge faux pas. We, we, we kind of screwed up, Jimmy. Well, don't, All don't say what we did oh, yet. Oh, I but, won't. But for the new listeners, maybe you could uh, you, you know recap it. We had gotten um, two manila envelopes in the mail, Opie. One to you, one to me. We uh -oh. opened them up all excited. And we get presents all the time. Uh -oh. All excited. We get presents. Ah. So we, we opened it up, and there were about six, seven DVDs in each one that were lessons like sexual... Uh, courses almost <laughs> that you could take with these DVDs where you pop the DVD in, oh. and it teaches you ah. how to have sex, better sex with remember, your loved one. Ah. How to have sex in a pool, how remember the sex a swing swing. at the office. The Wade Boggs yeah. fella? Yeah. The Wade, the Wade Boggs, Boggs fella. Uh, how, to, how, to, how to have better sex with your mate. And, and we, it was a whole bunch of these DVDs. You pop it in, you watch, and before you know it, you're learning things and having better sex. You're having better fellatio and cunnilingus. They were good. They were actually very good. Very good. And we were watching and, just and commenting on these. Uh, just destroying the videos. These things. And the yes, people that sex. made them and how we ridiculous. Weren't, and we weren't giving them rave reviews. We, we were goofing on the cast. Yeah, how uh, awful the guy, they looked. The guy looked like Wade Boggs. <laughs> I the girl was awful. I think I screamed, your product is garbage. <laughs> Well, that was probably one of the tamer things that was said in the in the hour and a half that we spent. We commented on the, destroying uh, the, their product, the uh, what we thought would be the lack of effectiveness of such a product, and smashing it on the floor, how awful it was put together. Yes, and then the smashing on the console and stomping on them. Hey, where's that one? Oh, we already broke it. Oh, we don't have that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So we gave them a good uh, trashing. Right? We yes. certainly did. <clears throat> Well, I got a folder in my hand. From yes, the... I see. What's the folder, Ope? Well, it's from the fine people at Sinclair Intimacy Institute. Sinclair Intimacy that sounds Institute. sounds familiar. Better relationships, better sex. Did I say the fine people at Sinclair? Oh, oh those are good. Yes. Of course you did. <laughs> All right. Oh. Ah. <laughs> really nice letter. <laughs> oh. That I guess came with the videos. Came with the videos. <laughs> so that... we should have maybe read. But we're not readers. This letter. We just. Before we went on the air with these. We think reading's overrated. Yeah, it's for facts. Why read? Right, Rich? I, hey, I agree 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Some readers. Readers with vo good vocabularies. Anthony, the letter is uh, dated December 21st, 2004. Uh -huh. Oh, that's recent. Uh -huh. Dear Opie and Anthony, uh -huh. enclosed 
in two packages is a little gift from Better Sex to You. Thank you. Thanks a lot. We are starting an advertising relationship with you and your show on XM. Holy shit. <laughs> we are the dumbest sons of bitches. Oh, no. We are stupid. We don't think. We're completely self-absorbed. I feel right and at home. We, we, we did. Why didn't we pull that out and read where it came from instead of opening? This stupid. <laughs> Open. This stupid. How come his dick's not hard? He looks like Wade Boggs. What does she shave with? Miracle Grow? Oh, self destructive oh, scumbag. Her we... ass underwater looks like a sea urchin. <laughs> Remember all that? The comment? That was a good one. Yeah, let me back up. So uh, ah. we are starting an advertising relationship with you and your show on XM, running 60-second spots with high frequency starting in January. Oh, good. Right. I can't wait to hear that. We look forward to the success that the spots should bring. Yeah, and uh, Eric, tell everybody where you found the packages. Uh, crumpled up in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> What packages? <laughs> what are, we actually retrieved the packages from the garbage, so then we could, you know, trash them. Yeah. Thanks for having us. <laughs> we followed the show for quite some time. Ah! <laughs> oh, no. And when we revived our radio campaign earlier this year, you were at the top of our oh, list oh, <laughs> for oh, desired suck. partners. <laughs> we are dumb little assholes. <laughs> Why do uh, we do this? I don't know. Is, is is somebody supposed to open that and kind of look through it? Before Please we... find someone to blame it on because we are just little douchebags. Should it should it be the... I don't know. Is there, is there someone that's supposed to kind of... Uh, maybe uh, Ben Smart should have uh, maybe first so and jerked the envelope open. Maybe maybe somebody tried to read it, but uh, couldn't couldn't get the page. <laughs> couldn't it keep it still yeah, enough. I don't know what it said. Perking and jerking his way through. Do we uh, have audio of us uh, talking about their fine product? Oh boy, Derek in the other studio. Well, I don't know. Maybe um. Uh huh. Well, let's before. But hold on. Let's hold off there. Uh, maybe that some people from Sinclair were on vacation yesterday. Ah. Perhaps uh, I look forward to starting this relationship. We can maybe talk about their product. Let me tell you, I am so excited. Very for them psyched. To come on board. Because right. from what I saw on those tapes, there are a lot of people out there that could probably use a little uh, sure. help in the bedroom. Sure. Uh -huh. And uh, I think the Sinclair Institute is is there to help. Well, Absolutely. If you want to, if you want to play third base, um, <laughs> it, it's uh, it's very interesting that Anthony just said that because yeah. uh, two days ago he did this. Let's give them a little plug. Uh, you know what? There you go. There's your plug. The your Sinclair Institute stinks. That's good stuff. Uh, just let it play in the background. Oh. <laughs> That's great Woo. stuff. Yeah. Hey, wait, what's this one? Oh, the erotic massage. This is going to be hot. <laughs> Garbage! <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> All right, that's audio from two days ago. <laughs> we are the worst. We are maybe so much to the dumb. <laughs> let me let me let me clarify. Yeah. Um, I was saying that it was broken, so it should go into the garbage. Right. And please send another one. I can use this. Yes. Maybe next time someone should give us a heads up because we can Holy fake anything on this geez, program. We stink. We fake excitement every day on this damn show. Oh. All eager, we opened up the envelopes, looked, and went, "This is stupid." So let me reiterate. Uh, thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. <laughs> we followed the show for quite some time, and we revived our radio campaign earlier this year. Uh, you were at the top of our list for Desired list. Partners. The Sinclair Intimacy Institute and the Better Sex Video Series have been around since 1991, Anthony. Oh, With our product lines, we are dedicated to promoting years. healthy, happy, and enjoyable sex right. to everyone. And it looked it. Here's to success in January 2005 and beyond with you guys. That's, I can't wait for the campaign to start. I think Thanks, it's going to be great. John. Tap into America. Great. Oh, my God. We yeah. are asses. What's the website? We should give them a, certainly a plug so people can check them out. Yeah. Sinclair uh, Institute? I think it's their website's uh, westink.com. Well, that should be our website. I know, Anthony. I is, know. is that... Um, boss. Oh, Friggin rich was Sorry. that a scumbag we haven't... Ah, stop that was... wasn't me you heard it was him we haven't paid attention to you so now you got a fart Ooh. Was, who do you think i need it was? a can of lysol anthony heard him do it anthony knows yes, that was rich yeah by accident when i oh, stood up by accident what do you mean you just stood up? up 
Your, your little feet don't touch the floor, so when they finally hit and push it out of you, you shrimp. Shrimp. No one said cool. shrimp. Nice. When's the last time you heard shrimp? Shrimp. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Not <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> um, so there you go. They're going to be advertisers. Oh, Probably they are. starting next week. So now, don't... now, I, I, th- that is the first I heard. Is is through an envelope that we got in the mail? Yeah. Shouldn't we have heard from uh, somebody at XM, maybe D or something? Should have uh, alerted us to the fact that we have an advertiser. Yeah, that would have been nice. That really would have been nice. Maybe we wouldn't have been hey, so harsh. John in Jersey, what's up? Oh, hey, guys. I just want to say I was listening to the show the other day, and, you know, the Sarcast, I've been listening to it for a long time. I bought the Better Sex video because it was so clear that you guys were just goofing and being sarcastic. You're right. 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 Exactly. Very good. Wow, you're good. So I just want to thank you guys in advance that you were advertising before you even knew. It was great. It was fantastic. And I'm going to recommend it to friends. Uh, my wife and I are going to watch it. I'm going to shave it into a mustache, big hair. It's great. <laughs> All right, you're good. Very you're good. good. Thank, Thank you. you. Keep up the good work, man. All you right. guys are great. All Sinclair right. Institute. Yeah. Okay, well. Rich, you have to go, right? Where yeah. are you going, Rich? I don't know. Oh, i got to go Do home. You home? Well, i got to catch the train. I uh, go to a, uh, try to get to my daughter's basketball game tournament. Oh, and Daddy's got to be there. Well, I don't have to. I'm going to try to get there. I'm that's going that's out a good of thing tomorrow. to do if you, you're for daughters, though. Well, you want to be a, 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 yeah, a dad to, that's there for her. I try to go to their games. If you're not, you know what happens to uh, daughters. I'm just exhausted. i got to leave tomorrow. How old are your daughters now? 14 and 12. 14 and 12. They're starting to reach that age now where... Well, no. My 14-year-old, she won't. Uh, she's, they're good kids. Well, I understand. but She they, won't they, what? They're reaching an age where she's probably starting to take a real interest in boys. No, all, you know what I made she's her cute. carry? Because so, I was scared of the whole teenage pregnancy thing, yeah. right? So I had her carry like a full-size doll, you know, to show the responsibilities of being a parent. Oh, so right. Three days later, I found it in a dumpster. <laughs> I go, what are you doing? She goes, well, I tried to flush it down the toilet, but it wouldn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> uh <laughs> Wait, and, uh, they're was... laughing. That's not a cricket. That's a good. I, I kind of like the find line, it, baby. Just... It's topical news. They yeah. just found one in a. Uh, and that just came off the top dumpster. of my head. That wasn't like a pre-planned Jenny bit or something. Very that good. just came right out of my head right now. You got any pictures of uh, your kids? Yeah, hold on. Let me. Show I haven't you. seen. I just want to see what type of danger Rich is in. He's in danger for having. Really? Yes. Is they're he? very, they're very, very cute as dogs. Is it kind of an up-to-date picture? Yep. Let's see. <laughs> It's a picture of his cock again that he showed me. <laughs> That's wonderful. What if your kids ever got their hands on your wallet? What do you mean? What if they there? took the picture? Now you can't see. Wow. Because right. now, uh, does do they? Does your older one have a uh, a boyfriend or anybody that you I, know of? I don't know. She's fourteen. You know, you kids know? are fourteen. They go. You know. Let me hang see. Out. What? The, these are older ones. I don't they're care. I want to. I just. No, nah, they're see. they're uh, good kids and they're all right. Yeah. And they're good looking. Very cute girls. Yeah. yeah they're, they're, now you got some trouble, Rich. What's that? That's trouble. You, you know how old she can be? A couple of years go by. Uh huh. And before you know it, the knock on the door comes, and who's there? Norton. Norton. <laughs> Opie. No. No, listen, Somebody's gonna be there. My kids. I got good kids. You know. I don't want to go out with his daughters. Yeah, I, like, how do you know? They're very, they're very attractive. They're very smart. Hmm. They're good dad. What if they hit twenty one? Something 21, like 18. that. Twenty one, eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah. You know. Yeah. What are you saying? How would how would you feel if somebody uh, in the you know a little uh, older than than you, them came uh, over your house and you know wanted to take your daughter out? It's not going to happen. My kids, I you know, kids grow up to be good kids because they get a te- attention and affection. That's uh-huh. all kids need to grow up to be good. Kids. That's why we're all screwed up. We I got attention right... and I got affection. Yeah, but the wrong yeah. way. There was too many touching. You know, you got to know where to draw the line. Too many touching. I mean, too many. <laughs> <laughs> too many touching. You too many touching. <laughs> you can't make a mistake here. I'm. T- I didn't sleep last night. What? So what are you trying See? to say? You think? I'm just you, saying you are in line. Yeah, of course. In a couple I got of years, yeah. you're gonna have trouble because you're gonna you're gonna start seeing these dopes that are coming over for your. You, for you your had daughters. to see the uh, the mooks at the uh, she was with at the mall yesterday. I mean, you know, but you know what? They make they'll make good decisions. I hope a lot better than I did in life. Because you're such a creep, it just goes around that, that, that they're gonna bring home a guy like you. Right. It's no. justice. A creepy drug addict with a stupid ponytail and a scam. Crack. Yeah. Let's oh. do a little crack. It's nothing. I know one time I was doing crack. 
and I was in the, in the bar, like the film center, down yeah. on uh, uh, Ninth Avenue. And I'm sitting there, and I had like no money left, and I had 40 cents for a draft beer, and I didn't know how to get back to Jersey. I just smoked all my money in crack. So some girl sitting staring at me, and she comes over and she goes, "Can I buy you a drink?" I go, "Yeah," and she gave me the money to to go up to the bar and get it. And I just ran right out the door, <laughs> 20 bucks, and just kept running. And I ran and bought two more vials life. of crack. <laughs> I swear to God. I, it was great. I used to stand by the tunnel because I knew my friends were coming in from Jersey. I knew, like, I'd have no money, and I knew they would drive in, and I would stand right where you come through the tunnel and stop them and make them let me in the car so I get a ride home and get more free crack. Oh, I'm sure they were like, hey, there's that upstanding see, citizen Rich Voss. Let's pull over and give him a ride. But see, the thing is, my kids have never seen me drunk or high, so they know, mm -hmm. you know, a good example. Right. Why? We interrupt this program to bring you the Ozone Midget Sighting of the Day. I love midgets. Oh, right on. Dan, what's up? Hey, guys. I work at Starbucks, and every day in the morning I listen to your show as I drive to work. I've been listening for three years. And uh old show, too. And uh, so yesterday, you know, very, very, very busy. The whole store is packed beyond capacity. And I have this tall white uh, peppermint mocha here. You know, I know Norton likes Starbucks because we're not Spanish and we make the coffee right. Yep. <laughs> and uh, so I'm, I'm asking questions, you know, whipped cream or sprinkle, all this crap that goes on the drink. And I'm asking questions. No one's responding. All of a sudden, this little head with a little, like, uh, like a Robin Hood archer cap pokes up from the counter with little fingers over the counter. It just goes... Yes, I would like whipped cream with spray, you know, all this crap. And I'm like, oh, my God. It's like the smallest drink we make, the tall. <laughs> tall. And then, and then I, I pass yeah. it to him. As I pass it to him, first of all, he can't reach the counter where he pass it to. Oh, he's probably just uh, straining on his little tippy toes, like oh, oh. <laughs> trying to get up there with those nasty little fingers, trying to get Looking up there. Looking around for a boost. Oh, can someone, someone's going to help me. Someone help me over here. I can't quite reach the uh, counter. <laughs> that big, That's tall counter thing? they put your drink on at Starbucks? The the best part, guys, he's 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 black. Oh, so, uh, so it's like it's like an unusual midget, midget sighting. You know? Why? And What's then, unusual about that? Well, well, I I've never seen uh, the calls coming from Boston. So, oh. ah, yeah. he <laughs> was he was in the wrong part of Boston. Okay, we segregate. <laughs> the tall part. All right, thank you, bro. Yep. Meanwhile, back at the show. No, there was a midget section of uh, Boston. Yes, shorty, they call it. <laughs> Well, we Saudi. should. I think we should regroup. <laughs> should we say goodbye to you? Nah, I can hang out. Hang I out. Oh. Can I say? Well, uh, I can read you. So this guy. No, let, no, me, I, let me tell I, you what's going on with Rich I, Voss. No. I I can read no, you. You, can. you had a really good appearance on the show, so you should step out. Relax. Oh, right now. I know what you're thinking. What he he wanted to leave at ten to nine. He told me. Yeah. It's now what uh, 10, ten after. after. But you know the last uh, few minutes that you were on the air wasn't that good, and you want to leave on an up. No, no, it wasn't bad. I guarantee first that's the reason. No, here's the thing. <laughs> Come on, admit it. No, first of all, we're all going to get the emails. I, I did pretty good no, today, didn't first I? First of all, I had some great lines. I did what I was supposed to. You know, they think, oh, did you're you or did you not want to leave at 10 to 9? You did well, yeah, I did, but I figured <laughs> since it was going, first of did all. Did you or did you not feel yeah, like the last few minutes no, on the air just, wasn't that good for you? Well, it wasn't killer, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Thing, okay, <laughs> let me tell you. He started bringing up the kids. I didn't nice. know if it was some surprise attack. Or, you know, no, four no, big black no, no. guys here were dating your daughter or some attack. I just attack. wanted to know how you, you know, were feeling about your daughter getting thing. older and attractive. And, it's you know, just, it's great. I, you know what? It's great. Well, because here's the thing too. When people listen to the, these radio shows, you know, you're a comic. They think you got to be funny every fucking two minutes. Enough of that bullshit. When an actor comes in here, do they do scenes? All right, we're talking. All right, I'm funny on stage. Once in a while, I'll throw something out good. All right, I took a fucking train here and I, I didn't sleep so you know what you throw a couple lines out you get sure. some in but when you start talking about my kids i didn't know you know i don't want to leave kids no, no. Oh, of course he wasn't making fun or of them use it as a gag or anything and we'll, I to, and we'll wait to leave and then we'll talk about oh, you can kids. trash me all you want i don't i don't <laughs> mind that you know as long as you, oh fuck it well, yeah i, I did want to leave on a better note then i know i, I did yeah, enough, at least I admit even, it I at least admit it. it you did have a really good appearance but at least admit it that was all right you want to end up on a really up note yeah, I guess. Can uh, Marion or Die call in? <laughs> I can trash you real quick and get out of here. No. Or, uh, no. All right. 
Well, yeah, if you want to stick around, you can. If not, just leave. No one will care. I, 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 I can't. Catch, <laughs> oh, jeez, oh, I can't catch the train now. I missed it. Wait, little... before we go, I got. I got to say, I got to do it, bro. Bettersex.com, a nice plug for our friends at all the right. Sinclair Institute. Bettersex.com, check them out. We're a ah. bunch of dummies. We all know that. Yep. It's a little mashup that people seem to enjoy. It's the Doors and Blondie getting together here. Okay. All right. And if uh, Rich is gone, anything you want to plug? Well, if I'm, oh, I'm getting, uh, well, I'll, no, yeah, I'll be getting kicked out. You know I'll, that. Well, no, I, I mean, I'm at Pittsburgh uh, Improv this week uh, for New Year's. Cool. Rich Force DVD. Did you guys see my DVD yet? No, I can't, that can't be it's bothered. Good. I know. Um, it's Times Square I thought you were doing this year, no? Weren't you doing the Jewish show or something in no, Times that, Square? That was last week. Oh, okay. I, I don't, you know, I come in to have a good time. I don't plug. I don't need that plug and okay. shit anymore. My, my name's so. <laughs> <laughs> Check this out, we'll be back. Uh, that makes me laugh every time. Every time. Great. You know, did you notice that Master Poe greeted us differently today, Anthony? I did. Now, why is that? I guess he heard the show yesterday. Yeah, but we really didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. I noticed that you kind of lucked out because there was uh, something happened, interrupted us talking about the morning ritualistic fist punch greeting. Well, when Master Poe arrives, everyone knows it because he, he walks around the whole place and uh -huh. he, he says hi to everybody and he gives everyone a little fist of the acknowledgement fist, you know, that you he's... bang knuckles together. That he's here and... Uh, I just don't like that because I'm quite moody and agitated when we get here in the morning because we're barely awake and we're trying to like show prep our asses off for 45 minutes. You just like minutes. being left alone in the morning. And you don't? Sitting in there reading the paper. You don't? You're kind of in your own world and then, you know, to have anybody come up, anything, a pat on the back, a, you know, even a how you doing. Yeah, nothing against him. I just, I just want to be, you know, left alone until I wake up, have a little more coffee, you know? We we get in the zone for the radio show, right? What's this we? Oh my I, god, you I, hate it too, dude. I've, ne I've never said a word. And about you notice it. today he came into our office and he just kind of bowed. That's that's going to be his new thing. He's bowing. No more, you know, little quick fist things. It's like the greeting you would give to an opponent in a karate match. <laughs> right. You I bow. Don't... I don't mind the fist. Handshakes, could you can get like sick from a handshake. Yeah. Can drive me nuts. But there's no but, germs on people's knuckles. You nah, dolt. not really. No one, you know, no one does anything with this. And I don't put my fist in my mouth. I'm not five or retarded. I don't chew my knuckle. <laughs> well, it, it started with. <laughs> it did start with handshakes. And then we yes. said, look, you know, we're weird and germaphobes. So could, if you could maybe yeah. do a little fist Flu thing. Season. And then, uh, then I wasn't liking that. And I was like trying to have things in my hand every time he came into the office, but that wasn't working too well. I was gonna have like an ice cream cone in one hand and like a hot cup of tea in the other. Cup of tea. <laughs> right, so, oh, dude, I'd love to do that today, but I, uh, I my hands are full. Hope he's reading the paper, juggling, <laughs> right. like yeah. anything to just. Oh, I'm a little busy, <laughs> coughing against his knuckles <laughs> <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> right, right. There's nothing you know against the guy. Just you know, I don't know. So no more fists. Once you you know from now on every morning you just do a little docking. A little docking. Two men just stand nose to nose and do a little docking. I don't know if either one of you is unclipped. You know, when you bow, you got to bow back, though. Oh. That's the whole Chinese uh, thing. No, oh, get... Rich Voss being, uh, what belt? What belt? <laughs> yeah, what belt? Uh, karate? Still, purple. You, you're, still, you're still in, in, in the, uh, like, the, the brightly colored. You're still, what's the word? Fucking no improv skills, faggot I am. Damn what, it. What's the word? Mm. What are you talking about? I'm trying to think of a, a color. Vibrant. Gold belt? Fuchsia? No, 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 no. There is Master Bowl. Bring him in. A descriptive word mm -hmm. for you colors. Just, you just don't want to bow because you're scared of... A descriptive word for colors? Yes. No, not colors. Oh. There he is. Master Poe. He's 
is in the studio, everyone. Hey, guys, happy holiday. So there's no offense, right? None whatsoever. But you were bowing today. Yes. We kind of liked that one. Does the you greeting, you know, like you would on the on the mat. Right. Yeah, that's before you go into a match. Before right. Before you fight, full contact, blindfolded. I, I saw a karate kid. Yeah. Blindfolded? I know how that's done. What belt are you? Uh, I'm no belt now. You What belt were you? Brown. How good is that? It's not bad. It's right before black. Yeah. It is. Yeah, he's ready. What's the first belt you get just for showing up? Uh, yellow? At the dojo. Depends white. on what school you go to. In my school, you don't receive anything. Belts, oh, you really? have to earn your white belt. Belts, you have really? to earn your white yeah, belt. But belts yeah. don't mean anything. It's how good you are. Some teachers just throw your belts to keep you coming. and It doesn't matter what belt you Boss, are. last time you were here, you, you demonstrated some of your karate moves. No, Can I, you do another they one They weren't for us? bad, though. Boss can kick for a little fella. I forgot my about legs are that. tight. I might be able to throw something. Is there a little demonstration you think uh, you right. could do with him? I, no, I, I mean, something. Uh, no, I, you do a lot of uh, advanced stuff with uh, Mars. As long as I understand that. No, no, like maybe something. What could Voss do right now to show off his skills? As long as he doesn't move, he'll be okay. If he moves, he'll. Get no, hurt. no, 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 because I don't want you to do the advanced stuff on Voss because yeah, he, he will get hurt. He's a little guy. He's a little guy. Look, he's sitting back down. He's, got, he's getting scared. I don't want to be one of these guys, you know, radio uh, I right. guess. We understand people, that. Right. You know, but that could happen like that easily. Can he do a. Uh, what can he do? Can you hold up something that he could kick or something? Um, Just something very, I could do something, something very simple. I could see how fast he is. How? Uh, it's a game that we play. Oh, uh, you guys just... What's the game? No, we don't. No, no, no. What's it's the very game? simple. You're going to place your hands in front of you. Yeah. And you're going to slap my hand as quickly as you can. Oh, that one? Yeah. Yeah. It's a game. All right, let's game. see this. Let's, let's see. All right. All right. And all I'm going to do is just tap your stomach. I'm not going to hit your stomach. I'm, trying, no, you're like that. I'm just going to tap your stomach. What do I got to do? Tell me what I got to do. You got to slap my hand. Here, we got. We need to mic Where's these guys. Where's Eric or Ben? Oh, hey, Rich, use this one. Use this one. You guys are setting me up. Go. No, we're not. What do you mean? I gotta no, it's not. no setup. No one's setting me up. Damn conspiracy All right. theorists. Wait, what's going on here? Let's get, get these guys mic'd. Uh, Master Paul, what's going to happen now? Hold up. Miss, you got to get a mic. We love these uh, demonstrations, and Voss is helping out today. So we're going to see how fast Voss is, I guess. Why? Well, in a martial arts, there's certain um, certain aspects of the arts that you need, and, and speed is one of them. And, and this is a... Excuse me. This is a uh, a drill that we work on, uh -huh. and it builds your speed. All right, you now, tell me what I, I got to do. I first don't know what what, motion, what you're doing I'll though. What Neither what is do I. what actually has to be I done? I know what he's gonna do. He's gonna One more me. time, Voss is gonna place his hands in front of him, apart, apart, okay. apart. Like, apart. Like, like he's yeah. describing a fish apart size. Shoulder, right. shoulder width yeah. apart, even right. shoulder width apart, looking like he's saying, "I caught one this big." Frankenstein. Exactly. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my hands in front of him. In between, in front of him. And my hand has to go through his oh, hands. I mean, we haven't right. started yet. His oh. hands Jeez. touch his stomach. Right. Yeah. Without him touching me. Oh, I got you. Okay. So all he has to do is clap his hand onto your hand before your hand gets to his. Stomach. That's all he has to do. All right. All right. Can you just make him truly the last comic standing for no, all of us? Hurt you. I won't hurt you. And <laughs> you do it nine out of ten times. See how many times you could actually hit someone out of ten. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's uh, set up here. Rich, put your hands apart. I'm just putting my. Yeah, you. You just have to slap his. He ain't gonna hit you, Rich. He's just tapping. He's just tapping. Don't worry so much. Where are you putting your hands? Right in front of me. All right. Okay. Ready? Right oh, he's just going to sneak it through to see if you can clap I'm it. I'm going to place right. my hand right through your stomach, yeah. right into your stomach, and bring it back. All right. Ready? Yeah. Oh, look at it. He's panicking already. That's a rough one, though. <laughs> Jesus. He's panicking. Poe's getting in position, man. Yep. And... Oh. Wow. One. That was fast. He missed that one, right? Oh, Jesus. Totally missed. <laughs> 0 for 2, Voss. <laughs> oh, three. Jesus Christ. Wow, post fast. Oh, oh, I could do the same thing. I'll get on him, too. Oh, you think so? Oh, oh, yeah? Well, you'll try it next. Oh, God. Oh, five. five. <laughs> he, can't get, he can't get his hand before it hits Voss's oh, chest. Oh. <laughs> and then he brings the hand all the way out. His Paul is actually signing an autograph in, in between, and Voss can't hit him. <laughs> now Voss is closing the distance. <laughs> oh, for seven. Hey, Voss, leave your hands together and see if you can just snake him through your epidermals. <laughs> Oh, for eight. 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 Was that close, at least? That one was. All right. Here we go. Oh, oh. nine. Almost. Oh, ten. Oh, for ten. ten. Wow. For ten. It didn't hurt, though, right? 
when Master Paul went through <laughs> all the way to Voss's chest I'd and say, back out before Voss could slap no, his hands. No, I got my, okay. On the way back, three of those he hit him a little hard in the chest. Did he? That wasn't hard. Did he? No, he's fine. Oh, he right. looked a little hard. Voss, I, I saw some smoke come out of you. <laughs> Voss, why don't you try this? Why don't you? <laughs> Why don't you Let's try, try full contact. Why don't you try the same thing on Master no, Poe? I can't control myself like he can, you know. He's afraid that he'll slip and hit Master Poe in, in the sternum. Poe will and and remove his arm. And then Poe will decapitate him. I'll get one through. Okay. All right, one throw. And if, one throw? Yeah, that's fine. Just use it. Just use your hand like this, though. Don't 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 put a fist. All right. Just use that all right, little hand. So, all right, so now the same right, thing. Master so Poe is... Uh, now all you got to do is put it through, right? Yeah. Oh, look, he's quick, though, right? Yes, he is. That's one in. Yeah. You, you got one? Yeah, yes. of course. I couldn't say. I, I always got to do what? This hand? Do whatever hand you want. He doesn't care. Oh, oh wow. Is that... Uh, oh, uh, Rich is pretty fast. Holy crap. All right. 0 for 3. Voss is quick. 0 for 4. Yeah. Voss is quicker than we thought. <laughs> oh. Now he's getting cocky. Yeah. 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 cocky now he's taunting him and dancing. Doing combinations. <laughs> Calm down, Allie. This Jesus. is where it starts. Wow, shit. Well, watch this quick, though. It's just, I think he was playing possum. No, no he's got him there. You know he's going to have to kill you now, yeah. boss, because okay, you, no, no, you no, just no, showed no, him no, up. No, 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 no. Now the next drill. What's this the is a very simple drill. We're going to see how You're many... You're not mad at me. No, no, I... Why are you mad at you? You're my friend. All right, all right. Rich. Yeah. I, I want you to, without hitting me in the face, hurting yeah. me, I want you to throw as many punches as you can towards my face, and they will count it. They will count your punches. Okay? What do you mean? You're Wait. Throw as many punches <laughs> as you can within five, five seconds. Five. Within five seconds' time. Even ten seconds. Whatever you want. What do you mean, like that? Like, yeah, as many times. Why? Two hands. Just punch toward this his face without drill. hitting it. By no. the way, Rich did a fantastic job. Yeah, he's yes. Fantastic well, job. Let's do... It's got to be easier, though, when your arms so are that you short. Do, you're just, you're <laughs> yeah, throw, no kidding. They have such a short like, distance to I travel. I box with God at all. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to throw as many punches as you can within five seconds. If someone can do a time. All right. Okay, no, five seconds time. You just are quick at that. Jab, Again, jab, this is a speed drill. Let's go. speed drill. Like you're hitting a speed bag. All right, here we go. Okay. To my face. On my I'm count. On my count. Hurt you. I'm not going to hurt you, Rich. Come on. You're are you ready? All right. I'm ready. But I'm not com coming close. Just do it for an hour. Ready? I'm not moving. If you hit me, that's my problem. <gasps> no, 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 no. Hey, my guys. hands are on my side. All right. You ready, Rich, or what? Uh, yeah. You're I not going to hit him, Rich. We don't it's have fine. all day. Relax. Ready, set, go. Like that? Is that what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, but you got to do it for another three, four seconds. Without passing out. Yeah. You got to keep it's going until we say stop. This is a drill. This so who's going to count? Speed. It looks like he's not going to do anything. You just we're just seeing how many you times see you can how punch many in you five can seconds. Punch. But what's the sense? No one's counting. No I guess yes, yeah, we are. are. We are. Who's sweetie? counting? By I'm way. three. I'll count three. Who's counting them? I'll count. I'll someone see. count. I'll, I'm looking at the clock. We'll do it for five seconds. Just punch until we say stop. For five whole seconds. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Ready. All right. Ready and go. <laughs> that's two that's, seconds. That's, First of all, it's good. two seconds. But, like but he—you didn't even punch. You just rolled your arms in a circle like they did the little rascals. <laughs> how many? How many? Bread. I couldn't tell because he was just rolling them in a circle. Yeah, that was about, about ten. Maybe ten. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe ten. <laughs> Rich, you know you're my friend, right? Yeah, yeah. Why? Okay, just hey, don't move. Don't move. Don't move. No, don't. Move. don't, move. No, don't. I, I, I ain't gonna I, hit this you. Costs a lot of money these feet. <laughs> don't move. <laughs> don't move. <laughs> I promise. I'm not gonna... Yeah, but sometimes people it does slip. this all I the won't time. Slip. What, what slip. are you doing? I've been doing this since I was five. I'm not gonna slip. Yeah, that's right. He's eight now. Yeah, Norton's been sucking dick since he was five. <laughs> Doesn't make him a pro. <laughs> well, at least I never tried to put my dick through someone's hands and they clapped at it. <laughs> Glad that got a laugh. That was a really energetic one to bomb. Uh, yeah, you had a little motion in it. it was yeah, visual. Uh, uh, you know, like what Pat, are you doing? Here, here. Uh, <laughs> standing still. All right. Are Just you gonna, don't move. Are we gonna try to count how many times you hit? Uh, Ain't gonna happen. Uh, what's the sense in it? No, this is a speed drill. All it is is a speed drill. All right, so here we go. You don't really need me here. Oh, yeah, I do. He does. He does. Move over here. Ain't gonna hit you, man. Ain't gonna hit you. Okay. Jesus. Please don't hit Rich. I hope he clocks him hard. Oh. Those horse Look teeth. Look at that. They, they fly out like buckshot. <laughs> <laughs> don't move. Don't Make move. An explosion at the chiclets factory. Me you won't move. Just leave. Move backwards? No, don't move. Just, don't move at all. Yeah, don't move. Don't move. If you're co not comfortable with this, I'll get Marcelino. Get Marcelino. I, I think it was... Oh, right. no. Oh, just don't move. Don't move. Yeah, name Marcelino because... That's all I, you got to do. You.
Right. Now, if, if Ben was doing seconds. this, it would be dangerous. He's just incapable of not moving. Give me yeah. Five seconds. Don't no, move. Yeah. Seconds if first. you panic, Voss, if you panic, just close your eyes. He's not going to hit One you. Two seconds? Yeah, let's do two it. Two seconds? All right, just lean in, Rich. Right. Oh, Jesus. Whoa, look, look at that. that one. Yeah. It, it nipped me. <laughs> right there on the lip. No, it didn't. No, it was good. It was, yeah. Okay, that was two seconds. Yeah, that was holy. All right, here we go. Let him do five. Here, him, here you go. Just don't hit him, though. Yeah, don't hit him. Watch how fast. We can't have Voss hit. I know this is radio, but. We can't have Voss No, Rich is a great guy. All right, here we go. That's my future. He's going to attempt, uh, I don't know what he's attempting. After Bonnie dumps him, he'll come back to me. Here we go. Ready, don't set, don't go. Oh, my God. <laughs> Done. That is <laughs> fast. <laughs> Very nice. That was like Christ. You don't even have to describe it. You can hear it over the radio <laughs> how fast that was. That was a flutter <laughs> of injuries. <laughs> hands are like lightning. Hey, that you was pretty that? good. And Voss did stand there and just take it like without, you know, flinching like I would have, which was nice. No, he didn't move. Yeah, but it's not like you have a chin he could hit, so you don't have to worry. <laughs> That's pretty good. He's a great martial artist. Who? You. No, I used to be, and I ain't more. <laughs> All right. What did, what did you say about my chin? Nothing. I like your chin. All right. Thank you, Master. Thank Paul. you, gentlemen. Thank, thank you, Paul. Puss. Very, very good. Our hired assassin. Man, you just heard that flutter of the death. You see how quick my punches got through? Yeah. Oh, now he's, not, now he's talking smack. No, I didn't talk it's not going to hurt. Yeah. What? Do, do I not move? What do I do? It's not going to hurt. <laughs> yeah. And Paul leaves. He's done. He walks over here. See how fast my hands were? Hey, no, Maybe saying, I should call Bonnie first to make sure it's okay to do this. <laughs> two, mi <laughs> two minutes ago, it was like, look, do I have to put the dress on? I, I don't want to, but I'll wear the ribbon if you say I, so. You know, if you guys wanted me to kick, that was another right. story. Hey, Martini Steve. We got the video. Oh, watch you, Steve. Yeah. We got the video up yet? Assault on the media with Eric no, from it, earlier? No, it will be. It will be at the end of the show. All right, we're gonna, we got great audio of Eric getting huge O&A signs on uh, Good Morning oh, yeah. America. It will be up on opianthony.com later today. Voss, you have to leave? Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. Oh. I get a train after that, you know, demonstration and stuff. I'm going to go have a cigarette. You got to quit smoking. I know. That guy is quick. You see how quick that was? Yeah, he's very quick. And yeah. he could do it for more than, you know, two seconds. The guy's without doing it for And they're accurate hard. and they're straight. hard punches. Oh. On the elbow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'd be done. Mark. It would happen so fast if you got into a fight with him. It, it, you're, you, you hitting the ground, you, you'd be like, what the, what? what? A tsunami of punches, dare I say. Mars was telling me one of the things he'll do, and I asked Paul about this and he confirmed it, is he puts his, he'll put his fingers in your mouth and fish hook your mouth. Ooh. Like, and he says, you don't put them in too far so someone can bite you. But like, you grab the inside of their lip and just the cheek and just yank. And he showed me how he would yank. And it would just rip your cheek muscle off your of face. Of course. And, you, oh, and, 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 and Mars goes, yeah, he'll, he'll like twist your arm and hurt your arm the other direction and then just pop up and grab you by that cheek and just rip. So when you're concentrating on, oh, my arm, I got it. Oh, my mouth. Got... Paul is an animal. Like, And then your, your nuts would be inside your body yeah. and you'd have a foot in your ass. You and... know what sucks? We can never fire the guy. He'll bite you. <laughs> he'll kill you. <laughs> he'll yeah. kill us. He can demand raises whenever he wants. Yeah, right. I think I'm being paid enough. I think you're right. We'll take it out of pocket. <laughs> well, let me kill you. Just mug us when we walk in every day. Yeah. But Give you know, me your if, lunch money. If you go to prison, there's dudes that tough and bad in prison. Like, you have no shot. You know, if they want to bang you, they're going to bang you. You know hey, what I'm saying? You keep thinking that. I would fight back. You, you would on the other fight hand, back? You on the other hand would let him put the cock right by your face. All right, just don't hit me with it. You and would they, fight back. Yes! All right, put it between my lips and I'll try to smack down on it. <laughs> <laughs> of course I'd fight back. I would buy a loser, How would you, you would fight back? They no, would, I'm, I, would, I would just give him the yeah. ass and go, all right, go ahead, respect me. They wouldn't want your ass. They'd titty fuck you first. Oh. You see how cute his girlfriend is? What's the first impression I left on her? I drooled right... Oh, you do? Yeah, well, you see my girlfriend. She's a very oh, your lovely friend. girl. So the boss wanted to say something clever and just drool flew out of his oh, mouth. Oh, God. I love when he does that on a table where just... Well, she has braces. I just wanted to make her feel at home. She's a cutie. Okay, I'm ending on a real sour note. Again. Oh, well, looks like I gotta stay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks. What is this this first gay retarded porno thing? Could you leave my mic up during the replay? Someone emailed me that. Oh, you got this one here, too? I, I, I actually brought this in. But you brought you this in? You another copy sent here, right? Yeah. Okay. It says, Dear ONA, my name is Cal Verducci, I guess. I'm a stand-up comic, and I live in Jersey. This is a skit oh, from my comedy crazy. CD called The First Gay Retor Retarded Porno. You'll find that it's sick and twisted and crosses pretty much every effing line. It would be perfect for your show. If you like perfect. it, shoot me an email. How but many then someone come out of Jersey? Then someone Jesus. writes a post-it on this. Whose handwriting is this? Steve. Steve. 
And Steve writes, awful comic from New Jersey. Uh-oh. Well, it says gay retarded porno. I was so disappointed when it was audio. <laughs> 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 gay retarded porno? Oh, I thought it was going to be a couple Pop that of DVD right in. Big fucking curly pubic haired, like pigtail pubes dummies. <laughs> Not knowing how wrong what they were doing was. <laughs> Confused at how good it feels. You know, and yet somehow instinctively knowing that it's wrong. Oh, both getting pleasure from those big fat tongues. <laughs> huh? Oh, he'll be here in a second. Okay. Who'll be like here? this is live radio right Steve. I'll just wait. Well, can Steve get off the phone? The OB and Anthony would like him. There Steve, he is. Why did you write awful comic from Jersey on this one? Because it's you... an awful comic from Jersey. Ah, that in. You hate this, right? I don't. Well, I don't hate it, but I'm fairly indifferent to it. <laughs> Was it funny? <laughs> no. Not even remotely. All right. We get stuff like this all the time. And it's well, just... the guy was proud of it. And, well, uh, good. Let him be. His... Saying he thinks it'll be good for our show. It's on his comedy CD. It's right up our alley, I believe. Good uh... for him. Good for him. And right. what is it? Is it stand-up? Or no, it's 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 uh it's like one of those recorded bits, you know how like is we, it a skit? Yeah, it's all, I think it's ah oh, we don't do skits, stupid. Yes, starts off with an no, awful walk. Say that once. Yeah, a very a very terrible walk-in impression, and goes into a, a little gay skit. But is how do you it really actually? Feel? A, it's gay more. I don't like it. It's subpar. It's hacky. subpar. Is it a Good Christopher word. Walken impression or is it Jay Moore's impression of walking? It's like it's like a bad impression, impression of Jay doing yeah. walking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Walk. Let's take all a right. listen. Fuck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Christopher Walken. We now present for you oh, the world's... Uh, all right, all right already. Well, okay. Uh, wow, that didn't yeah. take long. Wow. wow. All right. Yeah. <laughs> but let's... You know what? Maybe it took him a little bit to get... De geared up into the walk-in impression. Maybe a Hello, this is Christopher Walken. Hello, I got no voice inflection. None whatsoever. Oof. Oh. Fuck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Christopher Walken. We now present for you the world's first gay retarded porno. It's Caught from stuck. behind to Corky's Revenge. Okay, terrific. Hi. My name is Corky. What's yours? Corky's Revenge? What is My the name is gay? Manny. I think we stepped on what the uh, actual thing gay is. Gay Retarded Porno. Gay Retarded Porno starring what? Corky? Corky. From yes. Life Goes On. It's called Corky's Revenge. And can I say, as far as impressions goes, a Ben does a better impression of a quadriplegic. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Christopher Walken. Oh. We now present for you the world's first gay retarded porno. Caught from behind to Corky's Revenge. Hi, my name is Corky. What's yours? My name is Lanny. You're sexy. <laughs> oh, thank you. I, I like your wheelchair. Really? Boss, be quiet. Yeah, take your clothes off, bitch. Cause mom, mom just got it. It's brand new. No. Not funny, but Bend it's sexy. Bend over, bitch. I want to play with your sphincter. My sphincter? I didn't, I didn't bring it with me. No, you got me, you asshole. Oh my god. <laughs> That's naughty. I like hot dogs. My, what's my sphincter again? Okay, terrific. You are asshole. <laughs> Don't, don't I'm going to start fucking it. Bend over. <laughs> what are you doing? That's, yeah. my, that's my belly button. It smells like your asshole. Oh, it's, uh, I don't w wash very well. Bang, bang oh. my shoulder. Bang, bang my neck. Uh, who's your stepfather? His name is Frank. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Who's your cousin? <laughs> who's your cousin? Larry. <laughs> no, don't laugh when you when you you're fucking me. Your dick is good. I think I, I broke it. Let me catch it. Play with my balls. Yeah. No, no, don't squeeze. Come on, then you're gonna pop them. They, they're not charming. At least well, it doesn't go on long. <laughs> Look at the key. Is that your kitty? No, that's my Turn it ass. off. Oh, I, I'm going to your kitty. Nice kitty. Ah, ah, nice this kitty. Ah, this is ah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make my cobra spit. Uh, really? I'm going dingy with my mom. Wait a second. That, that looks like your dick is snowing. <laughs> 
Uh, by the way, you know, when you're, when you're telling these little stories, here's a good idea. Have a point. It makes it so much more interesting for the listener. Okay, terrific. <laughs> it's over, Jenny. Wow. wow. All right. Whoa. Okay. It sucks. That was, uh... That... Okay. ...was horrid. I, I oh, Opie, did you read the letter that came with it? No. He's a sponsor. He's starting <laughs> in January. He's going to be a sponsor. <laughs> God! Is that ponderous? You didn't think that was, it was like a, a good bit? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Don't even start. I don't know. It kind of had all the elements of good comedy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like the gay stuff, though. You know, it's like kind of having a... Sh I know somebody might be offended at that. Ah, that's fun of the true. gay people. Mm-hmm. Blah, 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 blah. A lot of, of retarded on Broadway. They would be offended. All right. Well, Oof. I'm what? trying to read the... Uh, yeah, turn it off. Play the train clip. That sucks. I saw this movie. It starred Juliet Lewis. No. Bring back. Bring Voss back. <laughs> I thought that was Voss. <laughs> I <thought> that. <laughs> All right. Well, wow. <sighs> All right. Well, keep trying there, fella. Ooh. Let's say hi to Tony and Reno. What's up, Tony? Hey, what's up, Owen and Jim? Hi, Tony. Thanks for calling from the good old West Coast time zone. How are you? Mm. Uh, I'm really tired. I've been up all night playing COH, uh, City of Heroes, and trying to level up. Poor Anthony there. You've been playing uh, what? I don't play the Cities of Heroes. COH, oh. Cities of Heroes. Yeah, I, know, yeah. no, I know as much about uh, games as you know about prostitutes. So when they say things like that, COH, WOW, you know, W-O-W, it's a little different than uh, Whip Mount Wednesday. World of oh, Warcraft. Man, I got two st and I just got another sticker for the back of my car. Can you believe that? I got two now, and I, need I only asked for one. So, Very good. I want, I, a, I want to say hi to... Wait a minute. I want, hold on. I want to say hi to Lil Jimmy, who uh, was uh, logged on to EverQuest 2 last night. A character came on called Lil Jimmy, ah. and um, he spelled something wrong in, uh, when, when he was uh, talking to me, and he said, oh, great, now I'm spelling like that idiot Voss. <laughs> and for 10 minutes, we just ripped Voss apart on this uh, game. Just Keep chatting back and forth. To me, they're a uh, it's, uh, jigsaw. So, and my son, he's a ten year old. I can't remember the name of his guy because he has some funky ass name. But he wants to be like Master Poe when he grows up. So, anyway, uh, anyway, a nervous titter of laughter as he bombs. <laughs> he goes, I gotta go, guys. I've been up all night. <laughs> hey, thanks for the call, Harry yeah. Chapin. Yeah, you don't deserve to play. What did we learn today? Okay. Oh, he's all right. All right, now, go ahead. Can you teach him how to play all right. Pain? Hey, what sucks after breast cancer is you can't baby feed, and boss's mom can never have enough crockpots. <laughs> That's all pretty right. good. Thank you. Let's go to Atlanta. Andy, what's up? Hey, how you guys doing? Pretty hey. good. I, hey, I learned today that uh, you can buy a baby in the microwave for three seconds. Very nice. From the ATL. Uh, yes. Uh, Yukon the trucker. Yes. Yukon? Hey, o and a. Hey. Hey. Hey, my little fecal lumberjack. Hello, my little marmalade spreader. <laughs> hey, I learned that uh, Boss makes Corky sound like a Shakespearean actor. Ah, oh, you're giving him the car crash? <laughs> yeah, that got nothing. All right, Rob on Long Island, what's up? How you doing, guys? Hey. How you doing, Golden Buns? Hi, how are you, Rob from Long Island? Thanks for calling the program this morning. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, the only thing worse than a woman trying to drown your baby is not letting you titty fuck her when, when she's done. That was a good one. Uh, that was there a good you go. One. Oh, uh, you hear me? He goes, <laughs> like he didn't think he got it out right. <laughs> no, he, he, did, did, he did great. Yeah, you did good. Rich, what's up? Yo, guys, I learned uh, two things today. I learned that uh, uh, Rich Boss is the new Michael Jackson, who has a picture of their cock. And, um... Oh, uh, shit, I forgot my other one. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What a pile up we're getting here, and what did we learn? What the hell's stink. going on here? Wayne in New York, what's up? That was awful. How you guys doing? Hey. Hey, I learned that if you want to advertise on the show, you should uh, tell you guys before sending your shit in. <laughs> Get us out of this. It's just a fog-strewn highway. <laughs> oh, wow. New Year's Eve on the Autobahn. Uh, I can't see. What? Oh, no. What is that? <laughs> Awful. Uh, Wade in New Hampshire. Hey, O&A. Hey. Hey, Kaka Chest. How you doing, Wade? Loved you in the video. 
Hey. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I know, I know. <laughs> no, that's why you uncomfortably laugh. I don't want to. You should have just said LOL. That would have had more. Uh... I don't want to seem stupid, so I'll just go along. <laughs> uh-huh. Smile and nod. All right, go ahead, Wade. Uh, today I learned, Opie, that whenever you screw a word up, you piss and moan about having a tummy ache or a headache or mm. making up a reason why you screwed the word. You can't just take it like a man like the other two do. Uh, I, I'll take it. I learned that it's uh, R before N today. There you go. <laughs> oh, governing. I, I couldn't get past governing. governing. He's gubernatorialing. <laughs> I, I said it three times, too. Like, no, this has to make sense. Governoring. Governoring. Yeah. Governor's Island. Oh, brother. All right, Jason, another one from New Hampshire. Two in a row. Jason, go ahead. Hey, today I learned my belly button smells like an asshole. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and also, All right. Oh, sorry. Bob the trucker, what's up? Yeah, I learned today that baby is a dish best served new. Ooh. Very nice. Wow. <laughs> he loves it. He loves He's laughing. Glenn on uh, Long Island. What's up? Glenn? Yeah. All right. He blew his chance. Who's this? Hello? Yo. Hey, what's up? We don't have your yeah, name, I, so what's your name? I learned that Rich Boss, it's uh, Rich from uh, The Legacy. Okay. I learned that Rich Boss needs to find that director and bring, bring her around with her. What? Princess Guy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Marty from New York. What's up, Marty? Hey, Owen. Hey, great. Glad to have you back. I learned today that Jersey has earned the title of most unfunny state in the nation. Yeah, they were very yeah. unfunny today. Very yeah. good. Thank you. Tony from Cleveland. What's up? Hey, guys. Hey. Well, I learned today that after another outstanding Rich Vaughn performance, he owes <laughs> all of us seven cents. <laughs> wow. Uh, very good. A lot let's, of pennies. Let's say hi to Mike in Nebraska. Mike, what's up? Not much. All right. Well, Mike, learned, you want to say something? Yeah, I learned today that Opie needs a surgeon to remove his foot from his mouth on his comments about your sponsor. Well, no, it was all of us. We all blew that yeah. one. Yeah. Okay, well, especially Opie. We did, but you should Actually, have, I didn't trash him as was bad Jimmy, as, really as, as Jimmy and Anthony. Anthony. You shouldn't have bailed out his awful foot and mouth reference. I know. By, by dignifying it with a real response. All right, T-Bone from Boston. I learned today that Mrs. McGreevy came up with an interesting new microwave recipe. Fast uh, Freddy from Jamaica Station. Today I learned you can't titty fuck mommy after she nukes the baby. Yeah, we got that one out already. And Pat from Munaki yeah. writes... Voss will be opening up for Pat from Munaki at the Comedy Cellar all this week. Oh. He's bombing in print. <laughs> he Pat is awful. To bomb. He should stick what he's good at. <laughs> in Vomiting <laughs> into garbage pail after doing 70 double shots of eggnog. Pat, Pat, you are the comedy... Jesus, long vomit. <laughs> long vomit. <laughs> no, the vomit threw you off. <laughs> Pat, you are to comedy what tsunamis are to little brown children. <laughs> James from Hicksville, he learned Norton would fight back, Voss would push back. I love Pat. Let's go to Pat. Sean in Jersey. Sean? Him. Hey, what's up? Hey. Hey, Jimmy. Hello, my little peel de caca. Hey, I learned uh, all these bad wood. I learned supposed to massive car pileups. Yeah, we did learn that. <laughs> Alright, uh, touch that. Uh, yeah, please. <laughs> You're right there at the end of it, pal. Thanks for jamming on the gas. <laughs> Let's go to Jimmy in New York. Jimmy? Hey, guys, how you doing? Hey. I learned that uh, shit thick is a new atomic bomb. Yes, it oh, is. Oh, very good. Thank and you. I also learned that Uh-oh. you guys are much easier to reach. I got through seven fucking times today, and you only put me on once. Fuck you! <laughs> Should have quit while you were ahead, stupid. Yeah. You got a good one off, and you got greedy. Yeah. Five seconds, Swerved five seconds around only. one piece of wreckage, and that's right, got caught up. I want to thank Voss for stopping by. Where are you going to be, Voss? Uh, Pittsburgh Improv. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I'm out of here.